All right. Hello, everyone. Nub here. Welcome. We're late, but we're here. <laughs> okay, let's go. CBC has begun. Wrath versus Diogen. All right. Hey, all the trophies are looking positive for us in our favor. Lots of stuff to get here. Love me seven void shards. That's a big one. Need to replenish pretty badly after that. Although I did have to, I did buy the shard, so I've actually ended up getting extra. Oh, we've got lots of things to claim. My daily gems. Oh my god. Privilege pack go away. Uh, we have the free thing. There we go. All right, let's go in. Uh, let me know if you can hear the music as well. We're diving in here today. Hopefully you can. Are we good on the music? Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, hey, Chase is here. Taryn Johnson. What's up? Currently farming Masteries. Yeah, we actually need to farm a bit of Masteries as well. We need to farm some as well. Am I pulling for the Archer? No. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Oh, Clan Quest. Great call. Wait, you guys cannot hear the music? Oh my god, hang on. Wait a second. If I click that. Okay, bam. Can you hear music now? By that. Uh, right, we need a clan quest. Well, we're checking that. Clan quest. 2,000 spiders. That's doable. Uh, 10 debuffs on ice golem. Uh, 10 debuffs on... Okay, 10 debuffs on dragon. Done. Uh, 10 more debuffs on dragon. Yes. Um, do, you, do you like my new my new avatar? <laughs> In honor of Supreme Kale. Uh, 5... 5... Against easy, that seems good. Is there another dragon one? That's what I want. Five on normal. Five, five on dragon. There we go. Gonna do it all in one go. Yeah, let's grab some kill stroke. The music is back. Excellent. Great. All right. Hope you guys are good though. Resistance charm. Don't need that. I will grab the energy. Take energy for sure. I did whale out even more. I bought I bought a big gem pack. It's running low on gems. For a specific reason, I bought it, actually. You will hear soon enough. I don't think I can tell you, but there is going to be some big news on the channel. Uh, and I think that you guys are going to really like it. But I was like, I need to make sure I've got enough gems, etc. for this. This is a weird one. I would really like that Rotus Soul. I'd really, really like get Rotus up to four star but i don't know if i should i have like more soul stones i think than i've ever had before i've saved up a crazy amount and there is a very strong possibility that there could be like a big soul stone summoning thing soon so probably get ready for that right probably get ready for it uh right let's get some stuff re we've got tons of energy now actually um refresh okay you know what let's actually start this with a bang here we go are we ready we'll start this with a bang white queen ancora i'm not sure if i'm happy with her build right now but let's get her booked oh wow we actually got the books and the good stuff but this needs to be booked as well wow we actually booked every almost everything in one go here we go no she needs to be fully booked her a1 is real good same thing with uh with him, with him, you could probably not book his A1, but we will. I'm gonna book every. <clears throat> Here we go. Ready to go. I have been using them, but without books, they're obviously no, not as good. Especially him, like he's missing 20% damage without books, and you feel that. You really do. Uh, good morning. Hey, Lil Gaming. What's up, dude? What is up? Uh, Hibbled as well? Got uh, Wasim Muhammad. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm going to mispronounce your name. I don't know how to say it with all those little accents on it. Stepan Balasek. I'm sorry I said it wrong. Thanks for the Gwendolyn Hydra video. Would appreciate seeing her in your free-to-play friendly team substituting Bizix. Yeah, she totally could. Um, yeah, she absolutely could. Uh, I need to... I've done my Hydra keys already this week, but I need to you know, rework them again at some point. Uh, this team is actually just doing more damage than it used. This used to always do 360 million. Now it's always doing 400 million plus. I don't really know what I changed, but I don't know. Now it always does 400 million plus. So free-to-play team randomly got better. I, I don't know how, but it did. So we'll take it. Oh, let's grab all this juicy energy. Yes. Yes. 
Energy. Um, wait, what do we have? We have stuff to spend energy on, but I can't remember what. Uh, dragon. I think I did track. I hope I did it. Okay. We got the points. We should probably get this ancient shard. Ah, it's kind of hard. It's just one ancient shard. Okay, we won't get the ancient shard. But dragon's done. Ice golem begins in like an hour. Okay. Oh, sand devil. That's what we want to do. We want to do definitely at least up to the immortal. We probably will do all of sand devil turn attack. It's pretty quick. I need to make sure I didn't break that team as well. Because I switched some stuff. Uh, dungeon divers. Yeah, dungeon divers. We. It's going to be rough. <laughs> we need to do it. Now, there's good stuff in here. Like three chaos dust. Sure. For some crystals. Great. But getting all of the points... I'm not sure. Maybe we even skip the points. 150. I can skip 200 total. Might be too much to skip. Not sure. That would be possibly the one to skip. Grab this overflowing with things. Okay. Um. Right. Great, great, great. All right. I think we're good. We need to go uh, over here. We do need to do that as well. Just double check my Sand Devil team still works. Hopefully it does. My mic isn't working properly. No, wait, it was on your side. You're back. Okay, good. We're set. We're safe. We're okay. Mic is fine. Good. Phew. Scared me. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't have a lot of blessings on that rabbit team, though. So, but yeah, it could, it could be the blessings. Yeah, this looks like it's working fine. So this this team is not 100% uh, because we are reliant on like all the debuffs from Romantu. Uh, if we had better gear on the Newts, we could have Romantu miss a debuff. But unfortunately, uh, I, I I can't. Um, I'm also I mean we could also put Romantu into like you know first set or toxic set or something for an extra debuff. But it's kind of tough to get the stats. I think it's actually impossible for me to get the stats required. Oh, you know what? Actually, this team should be way more consistent. I've got nine piece protection on Seafy now. We have like a 15%. You know what? Hang on. Hang on a sec. Hang. Hang on. Put in like 10, 10 battles. We have nine piece protection on Seafy. Seafy is now giving 15% damage boost to the Newts. Even if we miss one of the debuffs, we might still do it. Now, if we miss, I think if we miss decreased defense or weaken, it still fails. But, I mean, the newts are hitting a lot harder than they were before. <laughs> stream liked. Hey, thanks for liking the stream. Appreciate it. Helps people find the stream and know to watch while it's live. Which is good because I started late today. <laughs> I might actually change the starting time of the stream, guys. Like, I used to be starting it as soon as CVC started, but then, um, like, it's 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 in the morning. Okay, decreased defense missed. I think we fail this one. Oh, we definitely fail this one. You can see the damage is nowhere near. I, I don't think it's possible. I think if he misses decreased defense, I think it just fails, right? I, the amount of gear that you would need to still kill this guy without decreased defense, like, how are we going to come up with that much damage? I think you just fail then. I'm very curious if we miss Weekend or we miss another one of the debuffs. And there's nothing we can do about that. We'd, we'd need someone that's like a... Ghostborn doesn't do enough uh, debuffs, right? You'd, you'd need someone with like irresistible decreased defense, Weekend. Ghostborn only gives you one debuff, so you wouldn't have enough damage reduction to punch through. Again, maybe with enough gear you could, and you'd have it... Con I think even Toxic Set only gives you one poison. It's not going to make up that much time. No way. How consistent is the team? It's... I mean, it's probably at least 95%. So, it... Thiefy sleeps every time. Okay, here we go. This is the test. We've got three debuffs. But we don't have the fourth one. Is this enough? I think it is. Because they hit harder the second time. This is the test here. Yeah, easy, actually. Bam. 
There we go. Okay. So, I, I think it's about 95%. So, if you miss decreased defense at Romantu, you're going to fail. So, you've got a 3% chance to fail. Uh, so, it's 97%. However, I'm not sure about the weaken. I think if you miss the weaken, it might fail too. But that's fixable with gear. I think the decreased defense is just a fundamental thing, right? If you miss decreased defense, you're done, right? So there's always a 3% chance to fail. Uh, but yeah, I, th I think if we miss weaken, I'd, I would need more gear. But ah, whatever. Doesn't matter too much. Yeah. Like, Weaken is just upping your damage again. Like, you could... I don't have insane gear on these newts. Like, you could absolutely give them, like, 300% crit damage and and they'd be fine and, like, Savage Cruel and you'd make up for it or something like that. But, you know, I, I don't have the gear to spare. So, for me, it's like, okay, I could strip all the best gear off my teams and, you know, just destroy every single arena team and not be able to compete in arena at all. And it would eliminate, like know whatever <laughs> i could eliminate like a one to two percent failure rate on sand devil like is the opportunity cost of destroying all those other teams worth it no <laughs> no it's not uh so you just run it it's real fast you just take the failures could you survive using antrox and feeble yo i mean that's a really interesting question you you might right he does cleanse right the boss cleanses but I think he smacks you with his big nuke first. So yeah, maybe Enfeeble could change it up. Lydia in a cursed set? Well, Lydia, I mean, Lydia's got the exact same problem, right? Lydia doesn't have an irresistible decreased defense. Like, every champion in the game, except for Ghostborn, has a 3% chance to miss decreased defense. Like, you're just not going to pass, so... I don't think there's any way around it. With Ghostborn, you're not going to have enough debuffs. Obviously, the best... I should be clear. The best option is Romantu. <laughs> not Romantu. Excuse me. Riho. If you've got Riho, she's doing what Romantu is doing, but she does it with less hits, and she puts out more debuffs. So Riho gives you more debuffs, so there's less room for failure. Um... Still a chance for failure, I think, but not as much because she gives you so many debuffs. It's so much extra damage. And then you could also run like a fast... Um, I could run a fast Yumiko and we get a Hex as well. You can't run anyone fast at Romantu because he does a four hit. He wakes them up. But yeah, if we had a Riho, we would have Yumiko and Riho. We'd have at least two extra debuffs, which is, you know, basically guaranteeing the full damage reduction. Uh, yeah, you'd be good. Riho doesn't give decreased speed. No, but she does like HP burn. She does decreased crit rate. I don't know what else she does. Decrease attack instead of thing. I don't know. She does a lot more debuffs. Like the, the decreased speed doesn't matter. It's just... Right. We missed decreased speed and we didn't fail. There we go. Like again, it's... What? We failed one run. Which is slightly, slightly unlucky for 10 runs. You'd expect to fail like one run in 20. Probably. Uh, and that's just the way it is. But, like, I'll tell you guys, we just did, like, 10 runs, maybe 11 or 12. And we've, like, ripped through this. We just did 1,200 points, like, in this tournament. We're fifth place now. <laughs> you know? Oh, look, we've got two people from Frogs. ZZ and ZZ X ZZ. Okay. That seems like a fun plan. I wish I could click into it from here. They seem fun. Yeah, we're almost halfway towards that immortal zone in, like, a second. Pretty nice. Yeah, that's my favorite thing about double newt. That is the best thing. But let me tell you, you can rip through energy like it's nobody's business with it. Um, 2x Minotaur. Oh, good. We're actually doing Minotaur. 2x Iron Twins. Well, that's fine. Let's get uh, some arena tokens refreshing. Greetings from South Africa. How's it going? It's, uh, it's good. It's good. Thank you very much. Oh, yo, you, we need to... Ha, ha, oh, I forgot. We're using that. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Okay. Already distracted. You know you know what? Hang on. Let's postpone. We'll we'll look at Supreme Kale in a little bit. We'll come back to Supreme Kale. We'll come back. Let's uh, give... Let's give Ancora... Sifi... Give Ancora and White King Narcissus again. 
might. So right now, I, I've been trying Ancora and Bolster, and it's good. Nice, but I think we might want to switch her into Stone Skin. I don't quite have the accessories to do Bolster with Stone Skin. That would be ideal. That was nice. Yeah, that would be ideal. Um... But yeah, this is, this is going to be fun because we've actually finally booked them up. Okay, this is a tough test. This is a fairly tanky team. You know, this is a very tanky team. But yeah, uh, I, I'm kind of close to getting her into, into four-piece stone skin with the bolster, but obviously it's very luck dependent. But we'll get there eventually. All right, we did a fairly big chunk there. I mean, we probably kill them now. She's just put up Stone skin and uh, not so she put up strength and then shield. Uh. Oh, he just block revive. Yo, he just block revives. Ah, okay, that's pretty good. He he totally just went in and killed Harima past an ultimate death knight. I didn't actually expect that to happen. That's pretty nice. Boom! He just did a hundred k to her. Pythion, I guess, didn't have the shield or the strength then. Block revive Pythion. Look at him go. Look at Narcy's go. That was pretty nice. Rotus finally got to do something. He, he did 22k at the end. Good job. Huh. Yeah, Mithrala is just easy farm. Let's see if we can find a Marisha. Yeah, I, I, I would definitely book Narcis and and it depends on your blessing, right? Supreme Kale, I think, is he's really one to watch, but he needs the blessing. Oh, we just got decreased cooldown. I think he does his AoE again. Yeah, that's just disgusting, right? So this is the rotation, right? Turn one, she buffs. He does his AoE nuke. Turn two, you have a 50-50 that she refreshes the cooldown of his AoE nuke. There's a 50-50% chance that he nukes twice, which is gross. Just gross. How is he better than Fatalis, Blade Master? Yes, he is. Um def he's definitely better than Fatalis Blade Master. Uh Fatalis Blade Master is much tankier. There's no question, and that's his advantage, is he's very tanky. And he's got pretty good single target damage. Narcis has um just a lot of other stuff going on. Narcy's big AoE nuke is just really monstrously good. All right, if you get the double hit, his nuke is just so strong. All right. I think he's the best damage dealer. When they've got strengthen, he's the best damage dealer. Yeah, I have to say, I really like Sifi plus Ancora. I think that's really strong. So you got like speed boost into speed boost. Quite, it's quite nice for speed. Like that's going to be real good for live arena. Uh, but it's kind of tough. Like, I, I, I do think, I'm even thinking maybe putting the, the two duos on the same team might be the way to go. Because like, Narcis doesn't really care about Ultimate Death Knight. It makes his block revive weaker, but he doesn't really care. Like with Ultimate Death Knight, they've got Ultimate Death Knight is very passive, which is a pretty big advantage for Narcis and Korra. They're they're quite happy to fight Ultimate Death Knight, I think. I mean, we're we're obviously ripping through classic, no problem with this. This one's a bit more of a challenge. Yeah, I, I actually had to take some gear off Atalus of Blade Master to give it to Narcis. So he just one shots Rotus behind that. I think Narcy's also hard counters Duchess, right? Duchess puts out a shield like every turn with her A1. And he double hits. Okay, let's see this against Lockout. This should be interesting. Try against Taris Marishka? Yeah, we will. We'll see if we can find we'll see if we can find them. Oh, we're actually faster. Oh, that's funny. Oh, he didn't lock out. He shield. Oh my god. Well, there's Taris. Taris just got one shot. He put the shield up. That's funny. Warlord. 
He didn't set up a preset. So Warlord put up the shield and, and Narsus was like, all right, no lockout, but a big shield. Yeah, sure. I mean, one shot your team. Um, <clears throat> I don't see any Mariska. Let's see. Let's see us get locked out. So that's the nice thing. If we get locked out, she, she cools down his skills 50-50 chance every time, which is great. One slight problem here. I have him in stone skin and she's not. So her turn meter got depleted and his didn't. Uh, she got her shield. Wait. How did she get her shield back? Maybe. Did she resist the... She pushed their turn meter. I think she resisted the lockout. I don't know what happened there. His Leo didn't hit us very hard. <laughs> I guess we had the shield, but still. This Leo could be kind of scary. Let's see, is he smart enough to... Yeah, he is. Kill him. Wow, that was cool. I, she must have resisted lockout or something. I don't know. Um, I mean, let's see it again. See it against the Helicath. Oh, I think we're faster. Oh god. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. I built him pretty fast. He's like 250-ish speed, Narcis, so. I don't know. Let's see against the Kyoku. These teams are too weak. <laughs> yeah, we don't even have a soul for Narcis. That's the crazy thing. Like, even a one-star soul is gonna give him like Almost 10% more damage, right? Because of the HP gain. It's kind of disgusting, actually. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, needless to say, he's he's real good. Real good. Narcissus is real good. So, so let me show you what I put on them. So with her, I'm really not sure about this. I have her in Bolster and Righteous. So she's in like a speed build. She does have 400 resist. She ironically has 300 accuracy. And because she's got 300 accuracy, we're giving her Polymorph. Because she's likely to be the lead. Now she's got a 15% chance to sheep, which I think is pretty darn good. She's got two-piece reaction. And we've got a really juicy banner, actually. Look at this. HP, triple speed, HP percent, attack percent, defense percent. Kind of gross. Um, she's like 96k HP. She's fast at 296. She's almost speed tuned with Seafy. She's so fast. And her masteries aren't finished yet. Uh, Sifi is 256. I think they're pretty close to speed tuned. Narcis. Narcis is in a real good build. So Narcis is in Savage. 25% ignore defense. And 4-piece stone skin with accessories. Which is gross. He's almost got 10, 100,000 HP. 3.3k defense. 245 speed. 269% crit damage. His build is disgusting. But check it out. We've got... A really nice crit damage stone skin amulet. And we've got a pretty darn nice stone skin HP banner with a roll in speed, a roll in HP percent, even double defense percent. This banner is it's only five star, but dear lord, it's really good. And then check this out. HP ring with quad HP percent. He's in a disgusting build, guys. Like it's it's uh, pretty sick. Got crit this would be better with crit damage, but HP percent, I'm not going to re-roll that. It's just, I don't have the Chaos Ore. We got HP percent with HP percent triple speed. This we could roll with speed or HP percent for more. Oomph. But pretty decent. And then we've got, yeah, nice uh, weapon with speed double, actually triple crit damage because it's mythical. HP percent. We've got speed, double crit, crit damage. Again, this would be better with HP percent, but it's close to perfect. Then triple crit speed and HP percent as well. So pretty. So it's not the best skilled, but it's, it's not the best build, but it's pretty darn good, right? It's not like a, an A plus, but this is like an A minus, I'd say. It's pretty darn good for no blessings yet or empowerment. We're actually close to 10 speed with faction guardians as well. Like, honestly, with Faction Guardians, another 10 speed, 255. If if we gave him speed ascension on the boots, he'd be almost 270 speed, which is kind of ridiculous. He'd be, he'd be speed tuned then with her. So she would boost up with her shield, and I think he'd be speed tuned just about. 
to go straight away with his nuke, which is kind of cool. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, anyway, that's how I built them. Again, the big change I want to do is to try get her into stone skin. That that would be important. So I think with accessories we're slightly short. Because important they're the same faction, so. Um like I've got two protection rings, but I don't have a stone skin ring. Um, I've got a protection necklace. We can make we've got two protection necklaces. We can make her faster. Actually three protection necklaces. Browning at him. Oh, never mind. I'm actually totally not close to Stone Skin. Oh, oh yeah. We've got a Stone Skin Banner, Resistance, Speed, HP. That's that's not bad. That's that's okay. We could run that on her. You lose a big chunk of stats, but that's fine. So yeah, we need just one more. We could put that on, and then we need either a Stone Skin Ring or a Stone Skin Neck. And we could get her into stones. We'd obviously have to switch the weapon and shield, but that's easy. Very easy. So she's close to having four-piece stone skin, four-piece bolt. Pretty darn close. So we pray for Hydra tomorrow, right? <laughs> we pray? <laughs> Maybe? Maybe it happens. I don't know. That's where we're at with her. So I might not even bother switching her gear until that happens. But we'll see. Uh, where is... Here we go. Let's roll up Supreme Kale. Uh, what that give us? HP percent? That's actually a brilliant weapon. That's a that's a HP nuker weapon right there. Rathalo set real good for HP. Well, we'd hope for like speed or crit damage. Flat defense, not what we're looking for. Um, what is the chance for an archer event this weekend? I, I oh crit damage nice speed crit rate crit damage one realm resistance hey okay, we'll take the crit I think there could be um there there could be like a, a 10x archer or something this weekend I would really not expect a guaranteed archer event like that's the question I've been seeing would they do a guaranteed archer I really don't think so I really don't think so like to do a champion training tournament for her I don't think you do a guaranteed for that champion. I think, fortunately, there's just no chance, right? Uh, he's low on crit rate, unfortunately. See, if this ascends with crit rate, we're good. Oh! It actually did. Okay. It actually did. We got crit rate. Okay. I think we've actually got 100% crit rate on... Yeah, we do. Yeah, 104% crit. Two... Okay. Okay. Build is working online and this gets speed no rework it once just once flat defense boo boo first do i think there's a chance for 10x right after progressive yeah i i think there is accuracy no another tier in arena would be cool yeah that would be cool that would be cool. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the problem for Supreme Kale. Okay, check this build out, guys. I wanted to test him. We have nine piece Rathalo set, which is pretty cool. The problem is the accessories are not good, and these are all reworked, so we cannot rework them, okay? But he has like HP ring with double flat defense. We've got HP <laughs> amulet. We could roll this up. Maybe this gets crit damage, maybe. No, double accuracy. We can't rework it. Like, we've got triple. Triple. And th this this is pretty good. This banner. Double speed. Got attack percent. Like, this banner is great. It can be reworked, but I'm obviously not going to rework this banner. This banner is really good. It's not, this one's not getting reworked. Uh, in fact, let me throw in a, in a, a speed glyph on it. Yeah, I can have a five-star speed glyph. Or it's certainly worth it. But... Um, basically the issue at this one is we look at his stats he's in 9 piece Rathalos but his attack is really really low <laughs> really low so it's kind of like is there a point 
Now, if we switch it up, and we can switch it up, we could come in. What's actually the set bonus on this? We could even keep him in the banner, maybe. But, like, we could switch him around into Foley has decent gear. Not amazing, but decent. Got a double attack ring. With good rolls on it. That gives him another 400 attack. We could give him Foley Necklace. That actually makes him lower, but that makes him hit a lot harder. 4.7k attack, 280%. Then if we put him in an attack banner, we could take him much higher. I think that's probably worth it. We put him in Foley's gear, the 220 speed, 5.4k attack. Uh, Foley, Foley, yeah, he can be worth building. Foley's cool. Foley is, is nice to counter Sun Wukong. And he's good against Tormund as well. So he's a pretty decent off. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we might switch like this. Let's do it right now. So Foley is like ungeared now. <laughs> Need to remember that about Foley. Foley, no gear. Uh, let's throw a few glyphs on. Like four. 1% more HP? Sure. He's real squishy with this build anyway. Hmm. Nice. Nice attack roll. Got an advanced quest done. Good. Yeah, Foley, Foley doesn't hit incredibly hard, but he is good against Sun Wukong. Yo, uh, oh, I, I have no idea how to read your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. But thank you for gifting five memberships to the Nubraids channel. And welcome to the five new members. Let's see, we've got Captain Hindsight420 was gifted a membership. Sammy was gifted a membership. Freak Show EDC was gifted a membership. Hypnosis009 and Dabby2K. Congratulations. All right. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Here we go. Let's get attack on him. Sure. I'm real low on HP percent glyphs. It's kind of bad. Now, you guys have like some, some emojis and stuff now as members. Not really pointing glyphing accuracy for this guy, is there? Got some flat HP. All right. Try some Supreme Kale. After we grab Clown Boss. Song's too loud. Too loud. Nice boy chard. Take it. We could... No, I'm not going to Chaos for that. There's too much other stuff to Chaos for right now. Uh, five star... Another void chart, two void charts. I got like a void chart off hard the other day. I couldn't believe it. Like, okay. Hard mode just dropped me a void chart. I didn't even know you could drop void charts from hard, but I got one. <laughs> it's pretty fun. All right, we need to. Yeah, I didn't do Ultra Nightmare. Mythical Kelt says, hello all, hope you're all doing well. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're just going to try out Supreme Kale and Rathalos set. Six piece only, but still. I doubt it's going to be as good as the, the the crazy Narcy stuff, but it should be pretty fun. So let's go in. Try out some Supreme Kale with Rathalos. I'd love to have him with a bit of extra speed. Okay, he's got frozen, but he's going to be cleansed. Dude, he's gonna go in like look at his turn meter game this is the thing he's almost dead mind you but hella fast don't kill him yeah unfortunately we've got like <laughs> the poison damage without that blessing is way way lower right even a one star blessing would be pretty nice three star would be pretty huge push him back 
But yeah, the, the fun thing about him and Rathalos is every attack is AoE, so every attack is giving him lots of turn meter. And his A3 gives him turn meter as well. Now, bad thing is, Rotus is pretty good against him. <laughs> Unless you got the poison. Rotus is very good against him. Okay, Rotus, don't solo the whole team. Please, and thank you. Oh, he's got an extra turn. Stealing up. I think we've got him, though. I think we got him. Yeah, okay, he's dead. Rotus is dead. Yeah, let's do some more class here right now. I'm curious. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of liking the... Uh, Rathalos Supreme Kale's pretty cool. I do think that probably the build we looked at yesterday is better, where you just put him in stone skin and high resistance, right? I think that's probably better so that you can resist polymorph. I think that's probably the way to go, right? Give him like 500 resist in stone skin and as much damage as you can. That's probably the way. But it's pretty fun trying him out in Rathalos. I've been thinking of putting Sun, Wu Sun Wukong in Rathalos? Um, I I wouldn't do that. That seems like a really bad idea, because Sun Wukong's damage all comes from his A2, and his A2 is a single target hit. So Rathalos would probably actually nerf your Wukong. I I definitely wouldn't do that. Get a turn, Supreme Kale. We need to give you like. 10 to 20 more speed. You're too slow. <laughs> too slow. <laughs> His 2 does an AoE. Yeah, but the AoE damage scales off of the single target hit. So, yeah, I wouldn't do that. The thing I do like about Supreme Kale is every hit is AoE. That's pretty fun. He's actually almost smashed the stone skin on Hefrak. AoEs. Yeah, he's, he just gets to his second. It's it's quite cool. It's almost like a double AoE. Almost. Which is pretty funky. I think he might die from the poison. Yeah. Almost killed him with the AoE. Yeah, because his A3 gives him so much turn meter, it's a, he gets to his A2 real fast. If we have the blessing, you probably open with his A2. I don't. Do the mirror copies and dark fake at your lead bonus and speed? Um, I don't think they do. Like, you're, you'll always be faster than your mirror copies. You'll go first. I don't know. Maybe. I actually don't know, CS. That's a good question. now no no he's got his a2 i mean that's that smacks pretty hard yeah like he hits pretty hard yeah he's pretty cool in rathalo said he's pretty cool he definitely gets so much cooler with the blessing so that's the real ticket but he's good in rathalos again watch his turn meter here watch his turn meter yeah he's too slow we we really need like 10 extra speed like, bam, he just got... He didn't actually get that much... I guess because he killed him, he didn't place the decrease resistant. But still, he gets a big chunk of turn meter from placing decrease resist and from Rathalos. He's back in. Did, did, any way for me to glyph him a bit more? I don't think there was. Really want him to be faster. Oh, oh, there's no speed on his helmet. Oh, we could glyph this. Hang on, hang on. Okay, we get him speed here. It's my last speed lift. Two. I don't think plus two speed's gonna make a big difference. 
It would be the boots. Rerolling those would do it. Yeah, and obviously we'd give him some bigger ones. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a bit slow. Not because he's so squishy, you really don't want them hitting him before he gets to it. Rx would be better than him? Yeah, probably, yeah. Without a blessing, certainly. Yeah. I really think Supreme Kale, from the video yesterday, I, I do think that <clears throat> it's playing with Lethal Dose is the way to go, and that's really cool. Uh, I do have an Rx, but she's not in six... Actually, maybe we could get her into six piece. Let me see, because I've got more Rathalos gear now. Hang on a minute. Arix right now. No, 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 I can't. Arix needs accuracy. I use her for spider. Let me show you. So I've got my spider team. Again, I did a video on this recently as well, guys. But Arix and spider with Rathalos is super cool. Yeah, Arix is so underrated. But I'm using her for this right now. Again, this is not quite 100%. If she doesn't put any leeches, she can die. Like, this is a little close. She's healing up, but not as much as we want. She's mostly fully healed. So yeah, she does spider hard 10 in like, about a minute. So the problem, you can see right there, it's all about the leeches from your mastery, right? When she puts a stun, so you need enough accuracy to stun. And then you need to roll lucky and get the leech. So you need her with like 350 accuracy. So it's a little intensive in gear. Uh, but ultimately, like we could upgrade the accuracy bonus in spider lots. And then run her in six piece Rathalos and she'd be absolutely crazy. You drop the accuracy, but. There we go. Well, nice. That's pretty decent. Her damage neck. We'll take it. But yeah, she does about one minute. She's solo spider. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> Recent champion level in tavern. Do that really fast. That done. All right. Champion leveled in the tavern. Seven campaign battles. Okay. Do that really fast as well. Seven. Yo, Shadow Snake says, Hey, Nups, I was close to uh, Sacred Mercy and pull the archer. So chuffed. Congratulations, that is sick. Ostas uh, Litsus says, Hey, Nups, recently got Rasselvark to five star. Do you think it's worth to use Essence to six star him? Seen him do better than a crazy on nightmare if he's six star. I wonder if it's worth the essence. That's up to you. Um, I, I think six star and Razzlevark, yeah. You can switch him in a crushing rend, and his damage is gonna go absolutely crazy. So it's very good. Now the downside is he's still he's actually honestly a six star Razzlevark. He's still gonna be pretty good in arena, but like he's not top tier. Timmit time, yeah, it's the Timmit theme song. Um, but yeah, you know, it's 300 big essence. You might want to use that on someone more for arena, but like, if you don't really care about arena that much, or like you're happy to use six star Razzlevark in arena, I'd kind of say go for it. Um, yeah, Razzlevark's real good, so it's not a bad call. Like, a six star Razzlevark is going to be in your Hydra teams for like, I don't know. Let's be real, at least two years until there's something better than that. It's gonna be a long time until you get something that's better than a six star Razzlebar. A long time. Uh, so yeah, pretty good. Personally for me, I'm trying to save up for six star Seafy, but if I had a five star Razzlebar, I personally, I probably would do it. <laughs> probably would. Obviously six star Trunda might be a higher priority because she's broken, of course. But it's Hydra going. Oh, we're actually first right now? Oh, we're not going to hold this lead, though. Tomb. They're a few keys behind, and they've almost as much. 
Yeah, it's like, okay. You know, 3,000, 3,000, 2,000, 2,000, 17,000. <laughs> Hooray. Just this. But it's not, again, remember, remember, guys, this is the most important. From the YouTube comments, it's not broken. There's nothing broken about Trunda. It is completely balanced. It's all working as intended. Like, you know, this guy's got 3,000. He is, sorry, 171,000. Thanks to the Trunda. Right? I mean, let me see. 171 divided by 3. He's got 57 times as many points as this guy. But again, remember, Trunda is not, there's nothing broken. Totally normal for someone to do 57 times as many points uh, in a top end plan, of course. Totally fine. Nothing to see here. Moving on. Moving on. All right, let's go. What's the cost of a six star Lego? Um, like the soul? Uh, I think it's 100 red essence for 5 star, and I think it's 300 for 6 star. Really expensive. Like, I, th I think free to play. I think you can 6 star. Like, I think from scratch you can 6 star a new legendary, like... I think it's like 1 per year? 1 or 2 per year? How many can you do? What's the max you can do free to play? either one or two every year, which is not a lot. So you want to really be careful. Uh, Ooh, hog patch says two per year. Yeah. Two, two cents. Yeah, I, I think I've heard two per year. But I, I could, depending on your luck, I could see it potentially being lower. Stuff. I've, I've got a couple of six stars. How many do I have? I think I've mostly pulled them, actually. Like, just for, just for random legendaries. I got a couple of really good ones as well. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You could, you could get three champions to five star, which is really good now. Like, five star is really, really good. Really good. Um, let me see. Six star. Yeah, so I've got Necmo. I just pulled... No, no, sorry. I pulled a five-star Necmo, and I spent 300 coins to get him six-star. So I bought that one, but I pulled him at five-star. So that was really nice for Hydra. Uh, I pulled a six-star Harvest Jack. Pulled a six-star Shazar. In the vault? No, I've got... That's it. That's all I got. I mean, still, I've got three six-stars. Not bad. And then for my five-stars, won that in a tournament. Won this in a tournament. Um, Sifi, I've bought them all in the in the, the coin market. I pulled him. I pulled this one. I'm pretty sure I pulled Islin, actually. Or maybe it was that is that a tournament or did I pull that? I think I pulled it. I don't know. Uh, I pulled Pixniel. Four star Sun Wukong from a tournament and I bought him five star. I pulled a four star Chris. I tournament for Ultimate Death Knight. Actually got the three star Yumiko from a tournament. Three star him from a tournament. I bought Pytheon. I pulled this. I bought this one. So like most of the stars have actually come from pulling the stones, actually. <laughs> Funny enough. Speaking of wish list, you know what for funsy? Put put SK in here. Where is he? Okay, we want a Narcy Soul, we want a Supreme Kale Soul, I want Protus. Go the big damage, big damage boy. Oh yeah, you have to buy a five star soul for Artak because your build was relying on the accuracy. Yeah, that's yeah, I could that that's a bummer for a lot of builds. Yeah, four star doesn't give you accuracy anymore. But yeah, Artak, Artak is the Blessing rework for me is a game changer. He, like, solos Ice Golem now, basically. Right. Um, what are we doing? Totally lost track. Clan boss. Yes, we have. Do those. Fast. Clan boss keys. Done. 
We need to do Nightmare Brutal. Islin was a tournament? Yeah, I don't know if I did the Islin tournament. Maybe? The, like, I don't really like Islin, so... I don't know. Maybe I did it. Maybe. That seems weird. I don't remember doing an Islin tournament. But... You know, I've got a five-star soul for him. <laughs> what do I think of Supreme Kale in Stone Skin and Reaction? Yeah, I... Yeah. Uh, that's probably the better build. Yeah. So you, you build him high resistance so he doesn't get polymorphed. Unless it's six star polymorph. But that is probably the way to go. I'm actually curious. Let me get the optimizer up. Let me see if I can. If I can make it work. That'd be, that'd be kind of cool. If we can make that work. Uh, we need some masteries as well for, for the boys. Oh, I need to update the optimizer. Okay, hang on. That's pretty cool. She resets him and he one-shots wave two. That's actually kind of funny. He one-shots that guy. This is a weird thing I've noticed. Did you see that? There's no shield or strength and buff on this boss, but he double hits it with his A2. It's really very strange. But yeah, his A2 double hits the boss. Like, 1 2. <laughs> 38 seconds, pretty fast. <laughs> it's obviously slower if she doesn't reset him on wave 2. 50 50. 50 50, got it. It, they're such a strong combo. Like, her A1 is actually insane. Her A1 is so busted. Building up Raglan? Yeah, I don't have any gear on her, but yeah. I'm, I just did the masteries for all of these. That's what I've been doing the last few days. Mastery. Okay, what was I doing? Here's what we're gonna do. Let me, I don't know, put in 13. Uh, Supreme Kale. Okay. Optimize him. I guess for damage. Put him in Stone Skin. Stone Skin, a six piece. Yeah, let's say six piece stone skin. Yeah. That's. Let's say 500 resistance. Let's say at least. Let's see if we can get him in 230 speed. Seems good. Uh, here up against enemies with lots of defense. Let's say we have increased attack. Well. But he could probably be he could go in a go second team. Well. Oh wow, he lose a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. So we could get him. We could absolutely get him in stone skin. This could totally work. Losing a lot of attack. Damage is going to kind of suck. Uh, but it would still be okay. You put it to 220. I must ask uh, Ford Tough what he thinks about this. Yeah, okay. So that doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> that's that's even worse. How about if we put him up at like 250 speed? Make him real fast. Not losing that much damage. Actually. Oh, he loses, he loses all, all the crit damage. Guys. Okay, that goes crit rate glove. Uh, right. Oh, I did 259. Hang on. But just 250. Oh, yeah, his attack is like a dirt. Blessings would help a lot. 
The extra attack from Blessings would actually give him decent damage. Oh, wow. 144 crit damage. Mm, right. Looks like 230 is like the sweet spot. Or he's losing, what, 30% damage? No, it's still 46%. It's still real bad. Hmm. Hmm. What if we let him use everything? Still terrible, actually. Yeah, you know, might as well, we might as well put him at 250. <laughs> He's losing half damage. Oh. Oh, if we stole Elva's gear, he'd be okay. No. It's probably worth losing the damage for the resist, though. Polymorph? If, it depends how much polymorph you're fighting. Interesting. Interesting. Lots of things to consider there. Where'd I put my chat? I lost the chat. Sorry. Where are you guys? Where are you at? Um... Do I still do viewer shard pulls? No. No, not at the moment. Maybe at some time I will. For my gameplay with Narcissus, have I noticed him getting polymorph for this A3? I have not personally seen it, no, but I know that Shinny has seen it. Um, yeah, Shinny was saying it happens all the time, which is a kind of a big problem. Yeah, so it's Supreme Ka Supreme Kale actually is a pretty decent nuker. He can actually hit really hard. So that's the thing. You kind of want him to do a bit of both. Um, it depends. I, I think I would probably go for that stone skin build if I had lethal dose, right? You really need high lethal dose blessing for the poisons to do good work. Uh, because I don't, yeah, I think I, I, I don't think I can do it, unfortunately. Yeah. Like, I think if you got, like, one or two or three star blessing, I think the poisons are a nice benefit. But I think then you build a more as a traditional nuker, and the poisons are just doing some nice extra stuff. I think when you've got five star lethal dose, that's where he can become, like, actually poisons are the main source. Yeah, it's so strange that he double hits this boss. It's really weird. He's got this rage buff. I guess rage is kind of strengthen or something. I don't know. How did I build Raglan? Uh, I'll, hang on, I'll show you. Let me show you my Raglan build. Boom, double hit, A2. <laughs> it's kind of great. Okay, so, uh, Raglan, Raglan's built like this, so it's pretty high-end build, uh, probably all of you won't be able to do this one, um, but I think it's, it's pretty optimal, honestly, uh, booked like this, it does actually have masteries, <laughs> masteries are like this, I think we give her retribution as well, that's the Raglan build. Oh, she's done. Oh, nice. I think we give her Retribution, because her A1 is really good. I'm going to give her Retribution. Thick build. Thank you. Thank you. Thought so. So, how fast does he do it with, without her? Oops. You've seen worse builds. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, give it max her attack for the heals. Right. So he doesn't get extra turns off of his A2 anymore. A1. 
We're going to lose a lot of time on this wave because they're all going to get animation. Bam. He kills those. Kind of slow. Yeah, he's not great at this. Without her. That A2 is real good, though. Does he prioritize the A2 or A3? Oh, he does the A3 instead of the A2. That sucks. I mean, that's 40 seconds. That's, that's fine. That's so easy as well. Yeah, that works. And I take the responsibility and say if I should pull your 16 sacreds for the archer. Listen, that's a, if you really want the archer, then it's a very low chance. You have to understand that. With 16 sacreds, you've got like, what? 5% chance for the archer or something. It's not great. Um, it's up to you. You know, if you want to, sure. If it was me, I've got about the same amount of sacreds. I'm not doing that because it's like, I think the chance to get her is too low. I'd rather be well prepared for the upcoming, whatever the upcoming events are. You know, so I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too keen on it. His animations are as slow as a dwarf. Yeah, I mean, he is a knight's revenant, right? They should be slow, too. They're like mummies, zombies. And stuff. Should be slow. Um, What do we give him here? Retribution, I think. We give him deterrence. That could be okay, actually. I don't think he needs methodical. We give him blood shields. That could be actually pretty Got a lot of HP. Probably Blood Shield. I don't have... No, I, I don't have the Archer. I don't think I'll ever get the Archer. <laughs> Unfortunately. I would love to have the Archer because she's so strong for Hydra, but there just there wasn't any good events to get her, right? <laughs> like, there wasn't. The best event for the Archer was definitely the Champion Training Tournament, and there was no way I was doing it. Yeah, if 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 you wanted her, I, I think if you really wanted her, you would have done the champ training. But there's there's been so much champ training in the game. Like for me, there's so many champ training events these days. I'm like, yeah. any ones that are tournaments, it's kind of like forget about it. You hope for a deck of fate for Archer? I I think it's really unlikely. I think it's really really unlikely. To do a deck of fate for the archer after you've just done a champion training tournament for her, people will go absolutely crazy. I think it's really unlikely. Not impossible. Like, they could. But I, I think it's pretty unlikely. I, I think it's more likely that the summon event this weekend might give, like... I think there will be a summon event this weekend. I could... I think it's more likely it could give you a soul for Narcis. I think that the guaranteed Narcis was really popular among the late game players and the on the whales right um like for me i was technically both to do this right i, I had to whale out to get them so yeah i think a lot of people did the same thing and mm -hmm. but i mean it, it would make sense for there to be a monster hunter event at the end but... who knows it, it, it might be as simple you know what they might do they might just do a 2x sacred this weekend and have a 10x for all of the monster hunter champions as well I, I could see that happening. Something like that. Totally see that happening. Okay, let's go back to the fun couple. And we got, we finished the masteries on Ankora. Which... Boom. <laughs> That's a squishy team. Is there a tanky team? This team's fairly tanky. You're annoyed with yourself for not saving void shards? Yeah. It's tough to save the voids, but I really do recommend it. Like, in my opinion, the guaranteed void champions are where it's at. Narcis was sort of an exception. Narcis is incredibly strong. That is kind of unusual. They they don't usually do incredibly strong voids as guaranteed. Like they did Riho as the first one. Then Narcis. And then in the middle, the guaranteed voids have been more 
you know, they've been more middle of the road like the talus blade master uh supreme kale is actually supreme kale is actually pretty decent now like i said with the blessing change it's actually pretty good um eyelil and stuff like that you know like they do decent stuff but not crazy stuff you know what uh Oh, I thought this was a Fatalis. We need to find a Fatalis Blade Master to attack with Narses. So Narses, he ignores shields. He cannot hit shields. Fatalis Blade Master cannot be crit when he has a shield. And he gives himself a shield. I'm really curious to see that interaction. <laughs> this should be interesting. He should revive six star mythical. Almost did the Narcy's guaranteed. You needed 110 and you had 11. <laughs> you were just lacking the zero. Yeah, right. Wait, what? What happened there? Is he not supposed to revive them all? That was strange. What happened there? I wasn't looking. I was expecting him to go block damage revive and then he was dead. Are these my pajamas? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I got style, boys. <laughs> Who would I rather have? Narcis or Taras? I, th I, I do think Taras is probably better overall. Taras is tankier. Like, that's the thing, right? One of the most broken things about Taras, Taras takes half damage. Right? That's insane. That is insane. So I think I'd rather have Taris. But Narcis is real good. Obviously. If you pair Kale with another Poisoner in the arena, you could have a one-shot. Uh, yeah. I think Supreme Kale is the best one because, number one, he can't be resisted. That's huge. And number two, you can build him with resistance, right? That's the really nice thing about Supreme Kale. Here's a Marishka. Perfect. Look at this. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Let's go. Ultimate Death Knight counters the Rotus. Super tanky team at Marishka. This should kill Pythion. Yeah. Almost kill the rest of them. Like, he's, he hits pretty hard regardless. Yo, nice, nice strengthen you got there. Oh, we didn't get the cooldown reduction. 47k. Not enough to block revive on her, but close. Cooldown reduction. Here we go. Boom. Boom. I think with Narcis, I probably would run I'll be either Life Harvest or Ward of the Fallen. I'm not sure yet. It's going to take a while to kill them, actually. He's going to start blocking Revive, though. So will Rotus, eventually. Oh, extra turn. I think he just nukes them now. Whoa. That's dirty. And that's kind of slow a minute, but... That's a nice damage breakdown, eh? <laughs> That's pretty nice, Narcis. Doing doing pretty good pretty good damage right there. Can't complain about that. The steam at the Taurus. Yeah, I think Supreme Kale is the best lethal dose champ. This is where with her, having her in stone skin is, is real nice. Oh, he actually... Ah, I'm surprised he actually was able to kill the Taurus there, but he did. Cool, good job. Ooh. Ooh, look at this team. This could actually be kind of bad. It, it, it's a force affinity damage dealer. That's kind of bad. Oh, let's see. He survives. Oh, never mind. Rotus is just going to kill them all. That's kind of funny. Ah, 
Ah, uh, we didn't get any luck with our A1s, unfortunately. Locked out again. <laughs> Locked him out a bit. Uh, no reset. Three A1s and no reset. Hate to see it. Doesn't matter. Rotus AC solo that team. Go for Alatreon. I. You're on your sacred mercy. Or wait for one plus one. It's a good question, dude. Uh, like, is Alatreon gonna make that much of a difference for your account? Alatreon's really good, and he's a great progression champion. It's hard to judge as to how much of a difference he's going to make. Yeah, that's hard to say for sure. Yeah, would we block revive on this? Oh, never mind. I think that monkey came back with like three buffs. He would have got block revive. That would have been pretty cool. Here we go. Took a little while. But yeah, I, I don't know if I would pull for Alatreon, honestly. Don't know about that. Let's knock out Sand Devil Run. Get that done. I think, I think 16 should do it. Miss the guaranteed summon by 14 voids? Yeah, that's rough. That is rough. I do think he is the best guaranteed void they've done ever. Riho being second. He's uh, darn good. I hate to say. Um, that's a really interesting question, though. Why did they do a guaranteed Narciss? I'm actually planning a video on this later, at least talking about the future of Raid, but it's pretty crazy, right? Narcisse is so good. Why would you do a guaranteed for him? <laughs> like, people would pull shards for this champ. People would go crazy for it. So, kind of nuts they did a guaranteed. Kind of nuts. Hmm. Like... Have I been using Narcis? Oh yeah, we've been using him in Arena. He's real strong. Yeah, I, I think there, there's a couple... I, I like the conspiracy theories for it. I, I think... Oh, here we go. We've missed the weekend. I think this fails, right? Yeah, th this should fail. Without the weekend, this should fail. Like, there's no way. It's gonna be close, actually. Oh, that's really close. They were actually pretty close to killing him with weekend. Um, okay, that's actually really good to know. So, like a three-star newt. If we get the newt to three-star, soul reap. That would probably do it. Um, yeah, my conspiracy theory is that um, it's quite possibly just to kill the Taras Marishka in arena. I think it's a bit of a, I think it's a bit of a pity because. Like, the obvious fix for Tarish Marishka. Like, what is the sensible way to fix Tarish Marishka? Just to nerf them. They're so overpowered. You just nerf them, right? I think Harima as well. Harima, her passive needs a bit of a nerf. Like, it shouldn't be 50%. It should be, it should probably be more like 25%. And it's still crazy strong. Like, you know, the smart thing to do is, is to nerf those champions. Balance them, make them. Still be really strong, that's fine. Still really strong, but they shouldn't be that strong. The problem is, Clarium made it pretty clear they don't want to nerf things. They don't want to nerf things. Uh, and I can understand why. The reason why they won't nerf anything is because people will throw a hissy fit, right? Especially because, like, you know, someone comes in, they spend a ton of money for Taris, they get Taris because he's super OP broken, and, um, and if Plarium comes in and nerfs them, they're going to rage quit. Maybe ask for refunds and, you know, but they don't want to nerf anything. It's really annoying because just the way the game is. Um, 
So instead, because they won't nerf things, because it will upset people that spend money. Not even some you even see I even see a lot. Like a free to play player is like, yo, I'm free to play. I pull Taris. Don't you dare nerf Taris. This is like making my free to play life. And you're like, okay, I, I get where you're coming from. But it's bad for the game. Because now what we get instead is instead of just going, uh, Taris takes half damage from all attacks. Yeah, that's kind of broken. Maybe that should be like he takes 25%. Dam less damage right you know we should probably tone this down it's a bit ridiculous instead of doing that uh they'll go okay no we'll leave them completely op and broken but here's a 110 void right here's like three four hundred bucks worth of void shards to get a new champion that hard counters them like that's the balancing and right it's now you got to spend a lot of money or a lot of resources to get the counter to the overpowered champion Instead of just going like, actually, you know what? Don't need to spend any money. You don't need to use it. We'll just balance it and, and make a wide variety of champions more viable. But yeah. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's unfortunate. So I, the good side of it, the way things are right now, the good side, you don't have to worry really about your champions being nerfed. They're apparently never going to nerf anything, really. So you never, if you get a super OP champion, no problem, dude. You're going to be super OP forever. Um, unless they're like a, a rare. If it's a rare champion, nerfed into the ground without a second thought. Uh, like Madman, not even overpowered, but nerfed. Um, but yeah, you don't have to worry about your legendaries or mythicals being nerfed, apparently. They'll just release something new and more overpowered in the future to deal with it. Um, but... Yeah, so that's the way it is. That's the benefit. The downside is uh, it's just sort of constant power creep to deal with it instead. Like more so, because there's always going to be power creep in the game as well. Don't get me wrong. Like that's that's fundamentally how a gotcha game works. There needs to be constant power creep to keep people interested and excited. That's how the game works. It wouldn't make sense if it wasn't like like if they were like, oh yeah, you know, the champions in the game when it first came out, they're the best and everything else after that's going to be no better. There'd be no excitement. It has to have power creep. It was a bit too strong. Have I tried Narciss in Hydra? No, I don't have any Hydra keys left, but I will try him tomorrow. That's my plan tomorrow. With Mesomel, which form should I book first? Uh, you know what? I actually don't know. I actually am not sure. Oh, we missed the weekend again. Two in a row. Oh, Soul Reap, you're so close, dude. <laughs> you're so close. That feels bad. Rotus got... Rotus, I think, got nerfed multiple times. Yeah, Rotus got massively nerfed back in the past. I think the funniest thing about Rotus is when Rotus first came to the game, he was way stronger than he is right now. But when he came to the game, loads of people were saying that he sucked. They're like, this Rotus, he was a fusion. They're like, this guy sucks. What's the point in getting him? Not worth it. And then he was obnoxiously overpowered. And so was Sifi. And they both got nerfed a few times. Uh, and even after their nerfs, they remain to this day two of the strongest champions in the game, right? Which is just so funny. But like, it, it just shows, like it, it is, it's genuinely really hard to be right about how good champions are every time. It's just not possible. Um, I, I do think it's funny that, like, people didn't think that Rotus was strong. You crapped all over Rotus and skipped the fusion? Yeah. I, I mean, like, I, I don't know. I, I haven't watched those videos. I don't know what they thought of it or what the story was. Uh, but, like, I, I can understand not thinking something is good and then it turns out they're real good. Like, to be fair with Emic, for instance, they nerfed Emic on the test server and I was like, ah. Eh. He's good. Oh, this is interesting. We've got de decreased defense and weaken. Does this kill it? Looks like we're going to be short. Ooh, okay, yeah. Looks like we're going to be short again. So this is going to be like three fails out of 16. That's pretty high fail rate. Oh, maybe. Never mind. Hang on. The comeback. Oh, the comeback. Soul Reap. Oh, Soul Reap didn't... No, Soul Reap. Soul Reap didn't kill him. What is that? Wait, how did Soul Reap not kill him? What? <laughs> what just happened? What? Oh, it's because... Oh, it's because the damage reduction. 
It's the passive. The damage reduction. The damage reduction stopped the soul reap, boys. That's what it is. Oh, that's too that's too sad. That's too sad. Oh well. Wow. wow. But that's pretty close. So it looks like we're actually very close. Again, I don't I don't think I've got the gear to fix this right now. Um yeah, like, honestly, I think a four-star blessing on a newt would make this, like, we'd do it with only two debuffs, I think. Or, like, we could miss the weaken and still do it. Yeah, I, I think you get the extra crit damage with the four-star blessing. You get a three-star soul reap. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you had five or six-star soul reap, you know, no problem. But, yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah, you just smash through this real fast i think this is more than worth it it's slightly inefficient obviously in energy to be failing but it's just so quick so fast like it's it i can't go back right <laughs> can't go back to how it was before it's too fast too fast mm, okay we still need to do I, I, I might not do that on stream. I still need to get the Narcis and that's a let's get her ascended. We might as well, right? Gives us CVC points. Ah, we ran out of potion. I'm really low on potion. I haven't. I, I, well, I hope I haven't broken my keep keep damage. Looks fine. I don't know. Let's do five of these. The stream didn't show up in your feed. We need more likes on the stream. Uh-oh. Okay, hang on. Um, let me link it on my disc. Well, I do that. Yeah, we're, we've got kind of low viewers today compared to you. I did start late as well, which is anyway. My, my prism, I'm cursed with prism shards, dude. I cannot, I cannot for the life of me. Find it. Sorry, guys, about that. I I should get in the habit of pinging the stream earlier. My bad. Ice Golem tournament starts in a minute. Okay, let's check it out. Check it out. Um, uh, Omar, what do you mean? What do you mean by uh, would fail save energy by not doing super raids? I don't think it makes a big difference. Three fails out of sixteen is bad. That's true, but that was pretty unlucky, right? To miss that many buffs is quite unlucky. Um. Yeah, like you've got, you've got a. If you miss, if I miss the decreased defense or the weaken, it will fail. But you should be able to miss everything else, pretty much. <clears throat> like I, I don't see how turning super rates off would make a difference. Like you're gonna fail the same amount over time. Yeah, we just got unlucky, honestly, with those runs. Like I said, I think it's uh, it should average out probably around 95%. Should be around about the average, right? Maybe 90. Got two, 3% chances. Separate rolls. Oh, let's see. Got. Mm -mm. Okay, so it should be about 94% success rate, I think. It should be about 94.
Yeah, I, I, I don't see how it makes a difference, super raids or not. It's like, because if you don't do super raids, you have to run it twice as much. You're going to fail twice as much. Um, yeah. Anyway, like I said, a little bit more near gear on the news, and you'd eliminate the the chance to fail from the uh the weekend, and that would be kind of insane. Yeah, not worth it right now. Ultimately, though, yeah. Again, and if in a couple of months, hopefully, we'll be in a better spot. So I should probably, you know, what? I probably should just put a newt into my wish list. I should probably just put newt into wish list and hope to pull him, and that would probably do it. Right? Let's do that. That's probably the smart thing to do. Okay, over here. Ah, no. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take out... Alright, Supreme Kale, we will put you back in. But let's do the smart thing for now. Let's put a Newt in. We should have a Newt in here. Get a better soul. Or so better soul and we is good. Okay, so Raglan. Get her up. Oh, we ran out of things again? Two more. Do that real fast. Those. Like the wish list does anything? Well, I got buffed, so I don't know. I haven't actually checked out how good it is now, but it's four times better than it was before. So it's something. I, I think it, it could make a difference. Genuinely. Like, it's not going to guarantee it by any means, but I've got a big chunk of soul stones. Like, it'd be crazy not to put something good. Change to it. Bertie, hey, what's up? Yeah, I, I mean, personally, I think... I think, um... Sand Devil needs a total rework. I think it's a terrible, terrible boss. <laughs> kind of every way. Oh, does this team still work, actually? I've completely changed Kaimar's gear. I didn't actually pay attention. That would be really good quality of life. Yeah, no energy spent on a failed run. That's that's pretty big brain. I like that. So here... Oh, no, I, I did change it. Yumiko resets. That's fine. Yeah, okay, so this totally works. All right, we're good. Now, this is where a slow Kaimar is bad. And then we have to go through the turns. That's actually not a big deal. Oh, yeah, so she weakens. They do, like, some A1-y types. Then we hit them. Oh, this seems good. 34 seconds. It's slightly slower than it was before with the proper fast Kaimar. But, hey, it totally works. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. No energy spent for a failed run. That would be really nice. Hey, Illegal Mist, what's up? Hold for the Archer, got a big gun. Yeah. I mean, big gun's not a bad champion to have. Like, he's quite decent for, for Cursed City, that sort of stuff. I'd like a big gun myself. But um, I would absolutely, of course, take Archer over big gun. That's for sure. Oh, it's time for our inaugural JE timeout. Get out of here. <laughs> time for the timeout. Could have pulled Lady of Ereth. I mean, here's the thing. Even bad legendaries like Biggin and Lady of Ereth that just aren't particularly good. I mean, I, I I wouldn't even call them bad. Even, you know, mediocre legendaries like Biggin and Lady of Ereth can be absolutely clutch for Cursed City. So, kind of like every legendary is useful. Now. They do that in Dragonair. Nice. I haven't played Dragonair since doing the sponsorship for it, honestly. Um... Yeah. Like, I, I, I didn't like the, uh, I didn't like the season reset thing. So, I don't know. I don't know if they've, uh, changed anything. On top of the live chat? Yeah, that's right. I'm like a hawk. Nothing gets past me except when it does. Your phone crashed? You know, I tell, one of the funny things, you know, uh, when I jump on Panda's account, right, I don't do it often, but whenever I jump on Panda's account, I think Mythical Kelt may be a bit on yours as well. Like, whenever I jump on a really, really strong account in this game, 
my PC lags. It's actually crazy. Like, my computer can run my account just fine. But, like, I jump on Panda's account and he's got so many champions and so much gear. Uh, like, my game lags. It lags. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. My game is broke. All right. So, she's ascended. That's done. Um, let's get, let's get Ethlin ascended. Why not? Then Jet need at least one point so I don't feed her by accident. That's totally something I would do. Aynub, Tappy CVC. Yeah, actually, we haven't even checked the score. I think we're doing good. I don't know. I think so. How are we doing in CVC? Uh, we're winning. I've done 100k so far. It's not bad. I, a big chunk of that is from our books, of course. I've got no fragments. 20, I've got no chests left. There we go, guys. All my whatever. Been playing the game for three and a bit years now, I think. All my fragment chests, 24 fragments for mod. We're one quarter of the way there. So in another, it's actually only another nine years. Not bad. Nine years, we'll get High Mother mod. All right, cool. I'll be, uh, I'll be 40. <laughs> I'll be in my 40s. You get mod. That'll be nice. I'll be, I'll be old like, like some of you. My 40s. Dear Lord. Uh, ice golem. Oh, wow. I, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, the ice golem turn attack is actually not bad, guys. They put the points really low. That's great. And then you can go higher for chaos. Or, or for the thing. That's actually really good. Nice. That's nice. Oh, and it's cursed. Oh. Oh, triple cursed. Yo, okay. Okay, let's check. Let me make sure this team works. Some of us are older than that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I think the average... My viewers... I think the most of my viewers are like... There's a pretty big chunk are like 25 to 35. A pretty big chunk are 35 to 45. And then there's like a very small number of teenagers. And then there's a pretty big chunk like 55 to 65. And then I think it's 65 plus is how YouTube does it. And there's like actually a decent chunk 65 plus. So yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's something I, I like about this game. <laughs> no offense to any teenagers watching. But, uh, you know, having the, the, you know, more, you know, adult uh, viewership is, is pretty nice. You know, it's, it's a better community than the kids. Sorry, kids. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is my team for Ice Golem. Again, I don't think this one is, what, it's not failed, but it's come close to failing before. Um, because my R attack is relatively low max HP. Uh, so, a little low on the max HP. Um, there's nothing we can really do about it. Maybe some glyphs or something. But it's not failed yet. But it's come, it came close a couple of times. Like, I, I think it could fail. I think if the boss crit us a couple of times, like, in a bad spot, I think it could fail. Maybe we'll see that. We've had bad luck today, so maybe we could see it. But yeah, it's like about one and a half minutes. Um, I did see, uh, I think it was Grim Reaper. Has a better build on his R attack, and he's actually able to solo, like put in four food champions with the R attack. And he can do it in like three minutes. So that's kind of worth it as well. Does he have emergency? Yeah, he's got emergency heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood shield and emergency heal. Nope, I'm too soft. I won't make it to my 40s. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm a goner, I guess. Feels bad. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. When you give when you get seer awakened, yeah, like look at this. Everyone else pretty much dies. Seer lives. It's actually quite hard for Seer to die. Like, I used to do this with Elva. Elva and Artak. And yeah, it's it's absolutely a problem. Like, 
Deer just won't die for ages when Elva is there. He will eventually, but it really slows the run down. Like, all these extra turns, like, the girl won't die. And, like, she she is not built with any defense whatsoever. She's pure damage build, but the, the blessing is so strong. Reduce the damage in hard mode dungeons. Yeah. Yeah, you could run Reaper as well. Reaper's not, not bad for this fight. Emergency heal is nice, though. It just makes it easier with worse gear, so. But if you've got better gear, yeah, you could you could run Reaper. Yeah. Oh, like, this might fail. This could be a fail. He, got, he actually got the decreased defense, and his health is low. I think if we got crit right there, we would have died. I think. Though, if you get decreased defense on... And then the boss cleanses off the decrease attack and crits you. I think you would die. But it's fairly unlikely. But it can happen. I think it can fail. Or, of course, there's always the possibility. He doesn't hit hard at all. But there's always the possibility you trigger a counterattack. Like, it's not impossible. Um, do I... I don't have a Teodor. No, if you had Teodor, you could do it even faster. But I don't. Uh, his build, he is... 77k HP, 4.2 3k defense, 250 speed, 479 resist, 364 accuracy. So his health's a bit low. Um, and maybe some more area bonuses for health. Yeah, H HP kind of suck. You know, we could actually just ascend his gear. Actually, that would help. If we just ascended his gear, that would that would fix it. <laughs> speed. That would probably fix it. Screw it. Let's try it. Watch this watch this break the run. <laughs> watch it not work anymore. Yeah, these are Yeah, we want to rework these. Does this work with Drexthar? Uh I don't think so. Not it's certainly not nowhere near as fast. Mm. How many how many runs did I do? Like did I do two? Two or three. We got two thirty points. Hang on, let me let's see. How much do we got for a run? I'm probably just gonna run lots of this though, because I need that cursed gear. I didn't show the masteries. Oh, sorry. Um, he's got. I'll show you the masteries after this. I did two two runs. Okay. So it's like, let's round it down to a hundred points per run. So like fourteen runs. Fourteen super raids. Not bad. 14 super raids, and we've got the fragments. All right. No, I don't think I messed with the speed shoot. It looks like we're good. Boss didn't kill anybody. <laughs> Boss, come on. Bruh. Bruh, you need, you need to kill them. Kill one of them. The other two have heal reduction, so they will die soon. Alright, there we go. They're dead. Yeah, a couple of uh a couple of HP percent ascensions would make this really comfortable. Even even defense percent, maybe. Oh. Probably not defense. Probably I think the HP I think his HP is quite low. So like I really think I'm supposed to have 80,000 or more. Uh how important is it n to not take Warmaster? Uh very important. Yeah. If you run if you put Warmaster on, your run will be a lot faster, but you'll have a significant chance to fail. Warmaster makes it very likely to trigger retaliation, so I would not run Warmaster. That could be okay. Speed on that. That was like the same sort of speed. Yeah, that seems fine. The extra speed, probably not going to hurt. These are the masteries, so like less damage from AoE attacks. All of its AoE. Unshakable is the big one. Uh, spirit haste because people die. Then the burns. Ugh. 
fairly, fairly straightforward, I'd say. Um, but yeah, so that was three runs. And we got... Yeah, 340 points, so... Actually, probably, what, 13? I guess? 13 runs to get this? Actually, 13 Super Raid runs? That is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, let's do tag. Get our tag points going. I actually forgot to buy refills yesterday, so that is gonna actually hurt quite a bit. If you get heal... Yeah, if you get heal reduction, you can survive. Like, as you saw, you will survive getting decreased defense or heal reduction. You will survive it, but if you, if you get them multiple times, yeah. Or if you get both. But you have to be pretty unlucky. <laughs> like, again, you got a 3% chance that you'll get them. But now, like, he, he can get heal reduction and he'll live. But if you get heal reduction and decreased defense, yeah, you probably will die then. Now, the dog is downstairs asleep. <laughs> I might bring her up at the end, maybe. Yeah, we'll bring the dog up to say hello at the end of the stream. How about that? Oh, someone in my Discord has just posted. He's, he's been able to fuse Lady Mikage. Oh, I am jealous. I'm still stuck with no Lady Mikage, and it feels so bad. So bad. Got to buy refills, yeah. I, I usually buy like four refills the day before. I, I kind of stock up. Should have one still carry over. Hey, no. I see that spam. I see that spam. <laughs> yeah, for Makage, I'm so close. So close. Got this guy. I've got this guy. I actually could fuse another one. Oh, I made him five star by accident. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Why did I put him five star? Well, that happened. I've got a spare Andalia. I've got a spare fire gun. I, I have an end that, unfortunately, he's three-star awakened, and he's booked as well, I think. And she's six-star, so I could feed these, but I'd really like another coffee. But we could get away with it. Like, we could. I've got her to, ready to go. I've got him good to go. He's good to go. But we don't have Alyssa we get Alyssa we could fuse Lady Makage. I would preferably get an Enda and a uh, What's-Her-Face as well, but we could make do without. I think he's even got masteries on his Enda, so quite like another Enda, but. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping to get another Enda first. Otherwise, we'll just feed him, I think, and be like, yeah, nice knowing you, Enda. It's been good. Enjoy your masteries and your blessing when you were fed. <laughs> Make a Makage, but hey. Oh, Forge went pretty well. All right, cool. Silver Keys and Doom Tower, Crypt Keys, Classic Arena, Single Faction. Do that. One faction. Oh, we might actually lose four men up. Don't die. Oh, son of a. I think we've got a revive. Nope. I think we're actually going to lose. <laughs> going to lose against the dwarves. You know, I never realized this, but Tormund and Mountain King are basically identical. Tormund's just a bit smaller. But, like, they've got the exact same skeleton and animation. Oh, we are so dead. Oh, my God. Push the turn meter back. Still alive. Still alive. We're 
still in this. Energize, he's frozen again! Oh, Ethos is spending his whole life frozen. Oh, he's frozen again. If Ethos gets one turn, we can win. Frozen and stunned. Ethos, just one turn. Just one turn. Frozen again. Ethos, please! Ethos. This is miserable. <laughs> uh. Arbiter Lysandra into a torment. And a mountain king is just slowly killing us. Hate to see it. I like how they have not managed to kill us yet. We have such a squishy team and we're still surviving. Ethos is back, but frozen. Son of a... Hang on. Okay, hang on. If we target Mountain King, maybe. Not giving up yet. We're not giving up yet. So Mountain King kills... Whatever that epic champion is called, every time she revives. Which is giving us a chance. It gives Ethos a couple of turns. Ethos gonna die here. Ah, he's down. Provoke Polymorph. Let's go. Okay. So here's the chance, right? If she can use exhaustion on him. Oh, he's done. Give it one more minute and then we're out of here. We're quitting. <laughs> Come on, Ethos. Come on. Frozen. How slow is Ethos? He's like 220 speed. He's pretty quick. Pretty quick. Oh my god, he's frozen again. He's got so many debuffs. Wasting so much time. Oh my god. Back, he's frozen. Alright, alright. I believe. I believe. Okay, this could be it. This could be it. Exhaustion. Okay, so long as Torment doesn't freeze Ethos. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, he didn't kill them though! Didn't kill them. Never mind. We're out of here. We might win eventually. Oh, <laughs> dude. We might win eventually, though. Alright. Give him a taste of the queen. Vogot's not terrible. As you can see, Vogot's pretty solid. Like, he actually gives you a lot of survivability. Especially for an epic, he's good. Alright, 25 seconds, a bit better. Use only night grabs. Um, could. Another Vogot. Vogot's the base.
<laughs> the monkey is slowing it down so much. <laughs> there we go. And um, bow guts are kind of hard to kill. The big old meat shield. It's fun. We gotta see, she takes the stun off of Narcis. And then, with his passive, she cleanses it. Hope we use the, I, I will use the king and queen together in Hydra. I think they could actually be decent. You know? Like, her, her A1 is genuinely fantastic. Genuinely. These Bogots are slowing us down. Oh, Chris lived. Chris survived. Maybe it's probably reaction. The Bawuji. But yeah. Etho, my ethos is, uh, he's just built for campaign farming, so, like, he's not in crazy gear. That's sort of the point, right? Ethos is in fairly bad gear. He just farms Nightmare Campaign. Like, he's just in cruel action, right? So, but, like, he's got 7k attack. But, like, he rips through Nightmare Campaign real fast. Uh, but, the point is, it's like, you can do Nightmare Campaign without needing really good gear. How fast is Narcy's? Uh, he's about 250, like that, 50 speed. So he's pretty quick. I still need to do the advanced quest. Oh, what was the advanced quest? Oh, because we failed. Did we? Oh. Yeah, you could be right. Well, that foe got died. You think he had a shield? Died. Yeah, did, I, did I mess up the advanced quest? No, no, we did it. We did it. Okay, we need silver keys, faction wars. Um, let's just do a sand devil really fast. Get our energy running. You got the Titan points really fast? Oh yeah, nice. Running a low stage. Yeah, the Titan points are really easy to get for high school. Yeah, I think I think Ancora's A1 is maybe even it's one of the best A1s in the game. Like I think people are really underrating it. A1 is very, very strong. If you want a budget version, she's like a, a the Ancora is kind of like an, a legendary Golden Reaper. She's got a similar thing. 50% chance to decrease a random ally skill by one turn. And she's got speed boosting and stuff. Ancora is similar to that, but hers is the two-turn cool. Really nice. Um, Ancora, she's she's real good. So. Real good. We'll try her out in Hydra tomorrow. Like, I've already done my keys, so I can't uh, do it. Let me see. How am I doing on... Flash points. You know, two and a half thousand. It's all right. I like to get up to three thousand, but it's quite a stretch. I have to do some substantial change to get there. Bellatar Mage Slayer. Let's see. They may one. Decrease the cooldown of a random ally by one turn. No, it's his only one turn. That's funny. Her A1 is like so much better than his. 50% chance by one turn. Hers is two turns. This should probably be buffed. If this was two turns, it'd be a lot better. Kind of sad that the Void Legendary is only the one turn. D is a non void as two. I hadn't realized that. Thanks for pointing that out. That's a little bit depressing if you're a Bellatar fan, which I probably would be. I think he's a cool champion.
know, if they just let you debuff this guy whenever, this would be such a better fight. The fact you can only debuff him when he's asleep. Romantu has a 100%. This is it just by one turn? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he has a 100% chance to increase one of their skills by one turn. And uh, decreases an ally skill by one turn. Yeah, it's a, it's a great A1. Romantu is solid. I actually, I really want to switch him up, actually. Oh yeah, but I'm gonna do Romantu. I'm waiting for them to put in a free gear change. I think there's a free gear change coming soon. But like Romantu, uh, I'm gonna be switching into uh, at least four piece stone skin. And then he needs 525 accuracy, 271 speed for Sand Devil. Yeah, so this should work. He's gonna get like 20% damage. That's kind of fun. Yeah, Romantu's probably gonna switch into something like this. So he's gonna have actually decent damage. His crit damage sucks. I don't know. Can we get something better than that? Something like this. I mean, we'll switch him up and probably build him for damage, but in stone skin, he should be quite decent. And he'd be quite, quite decent in arena then, sort of a backup damage dealer. Oh, sad face. We don't have Night Revenant Crypt. One week and three days to the Night Revenant Crypt. What? That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. There'll probably be another test server before we can even do Night Revenant on live. Funny. 271 speed for Sand Devil is the minimum. Um, it, it is for the team I'm running, yeah, because the Sand Devil is 270 speed on stage 25. We only sleep him for one turn with Seafy, so Mantu needs to be faster to stop him. And did, did they not say in a recent uh, raid digest that they were going to do like an earlier uh, free gear change? I think they're changing it in the future, no? Maybe it's for the next Cursed City, but they're saying that they're going to do the gear change for Cursed City like halfway through. That about the start from now on. That's what people want. It makes sense, right? Like they give you the gear change at the start of Cursed City, but like you haven't got far enough to be stuck yet. What's the plan? Is it is it like we've got a free gear change at the start of the next Cursed City? Or they're they're gonna do it when CVC ends? I don't know. We'll find out. Is it fine to do Super Raids on Faction Wars? Yeah, pretty sure. It's 2,000 points. I'm pretty sure they fix Super Raids for dungeons as well. I think it's all fixed now. Pretty sure. Okay, yeah, so we do have the extra gear change, maybe after CBC, and then it will be halfway. Do I think all the Plat Arena players bought Voids for King Narcissus? Pro yeah, probably. <laughs> probably, yeah. Most of them. I'd say most of them. Like, people in Plat Arena are 95%, 99% of the time they're spenders. There's a couple of free-to-plays in there, but it's very, very, very rare. Or like they're free to play, but they're content creators, so they're getting a lot of resources for free. There, I, I don't know. Like, there's very few, like, proper free to play players, platinum, if any. Oh. So. Oh, she didn't crit in her second play date. Little Misani failing us. Okay, yeah. So we will have a gear change probably in the next couple of days. And then, let me show you the Romantu thing I'm talking about, by the way. And then it will be halfway through the next curse. Super Raid's turned off randomly. So, if you check this one out, right? The boss. Very fast. See if he sleeps him. Turn meter's full. Romantu debuffs. Oh, we're probably going to fail because without the weekend. And then the boss wakes up, right? So, you basically need Romantu and Sifi 
Fifi needs to be the fastest. Romantu needs to be over 270 speed. And then the two newts need to be slower. This is, again, it's going to be real close. Really close. We A1, maybe? We could get Giant Slayer? Ah! <laughs> Bruh! Sleep him. That's just depressing, dude. Soul Reap, why are you so shit? Soul Reap. So close. I should actually run Newt through an optimizer. We should run Newt through the optimizer. The damage Newt, he's okay. He's got Savage. I, I think we just need to put the other Newt in Savage. He's in Relentless. I think it's time. I think we just put him in Savage, right? Like, this, this guy does no damage, right? He's in Relentless with two 18% crit damages. You know? But this Newt... He's in Savage with 267% crit damage. It's just better. Oh, his ring needs to be rolled up. Just to make it, just to, just to kill it even with the thing, even without weaken. Anyway, it's what it is. It is what it is. Oh, yeah. Anyway, the point was, you can see that Romanti needs to be 271. <laughs> Probably 270 would do, but I put it 271 just to be safe. What is this music? This music is the Timmet theme song team is failing a lot yeah it is it is yeah we i i think we need to keep running that sand devil team yeah i think we need to remove the weak and fail i think it's fine to fail with a decreased defense but yeah i think uh we need to remove failure from weaken mm -hmm. yeah i think we get them in better gear and remove that and it's okay but yeah it's you're right like when you're failing from decreased defense missing and weaken it's best case scenario, 94% success. That's a bit low. I think we want to get it up above the 95, so. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, you end up wasting a good chunk of energy. Um, so, we either need some Newt Souls, or we need the other Newt and Savage as well. Music's a little bit loud. I should be a good bit quieter. Let me know how that is. Let the optimizer come back in the end. Came back like this. Crit damage is super low. Super low. Because of crit rate gloves, I guess. Might run this on Romantu, though. <laughs> Do I have enough accuracy? Yep. Seems more than 3%. We've been a little bit unlucky with the runs, but no, it's just a 3% failure. Romantu is like 600 accuracy, maybe 650 or something. You only need 525. Don't know. It's just, yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's really easy for you guys to be like, oh, you, you see a couple of unlucky runs in a row and you go, oh, wow, this is what it's always like. It's not always like that, right? Like, we've missed the weekend multiple times and it's only a 3% chance to miss it. Like, we've been quite unlucky with weakens. Like, funny enough, we haven't missed decreased defense half as much as we miss weaken. We've just had a fairly unlucky string of runs. Um, but nonetheless, nonetheless, it is still at least a 6% chance to fail. Not great. So I want to want to improve that. Like I'm totally happy with the three percent. I think you missed decreased defense and it fails. That's fine. Um, and like I said, Riho would make it uber consistent. I think I think with a Riho, it'd probably be just a hundred percent, pretty much. She's got so many debuffs. I think you just a hundred percent success with a Riho, right? Because you got a Hex from a Yumiko, a fast Yumiko in there. You've got a Riho as well. I think it's a 100% chance success with Riho, but I don't have a Riho. Romantu is like your budget option.
And you run Ruella instead of uh, Romantu. Uh, yeah, Ruella's not as good as him, though. I think Ruella is more likely to fail. I think. Could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I think Ruella obviously is, I think, the more budget option than Romantu. I think it's worse. I'm pretty sure it's worse. I think. Like, if we jump over here... We look at Sand level 25. So there's one at Ruella. Only 87%. So this is this is basically the team we're running right now. 95 point. It should come out as, as around that. But again, we can see with this team. Oh, it's actually pretty similar. As Newt's got a bit more. They're actually fast. That's interesting. Potentially super fast Newt's. That would work. Oh, uh, I see what's going on. So this, it's basically the same, but got a sleep from Seafy, decreased defense, weakened from Draco, and only the 525 accuracy. Then Newt 1 nukes, Newt 2 nukes, and then give a reset straight away. He's come out with 95%. Like, again, he just got lucky on his runs. Like, our team is no worse than that. Our team is probably even better than that. Just a bit unlucky. And this is the team I'd probably be running. This one right here. So this is coming out as like 96 with a bigger... What was the... Da, da, da. So this one, again, this is more like it. The 600 battles. 600 battles, 96%. This is where we'll probably ultimately end up. It's like this. 96%. And you can see you bring in Canelia, it drops to 90% because you don't have the irresistible sleep. Ruella team right here. Go up to 93%. Oh yeah, so the Ruella team could be pretty good, actually. Like, if you had a Seafy instead of Canelia, it looks like it could work. So again, he's got one Newt in Savage, 222 crit damage, one Newt with 288, 28%. Canelia. Or Ruella, sorry. Ruella. Your accuracy is quite low. Getting away with it. Kind of weird, but hey. But yeah, sorry, that's already 83% successful, and that's why. He doesn't have enough accuracy. This one is only 25 battles. Here, 183 battles. This is more likely. There we go. Proper accuracy on her. Newts. 280, crit damage, 3. Yeah, see? We want the higher crit damage, and it's still the fail chance. Um... Yeah, what was I saying? We would probably be running, ultimately, this. This is where we'll end up in the end. Let's go this one with 64 battles. This is quite a slow Yumiko, but... Yeah, the idea would be... This is actually slightly different. Yumiko resets. But it would be like Seafy sleeps, Romantu debuffs, uh, Newt nukes. Again, they're both 270%. Makes a difference. Both the newts go nuke. Then he's resetting with her. We could do this with Kaimar. Reset with Kaimar and go again. That would work just fine. 98% success with this one. We end up. He does have Toxic on Romantu. Let's see. Could we get Romantu and Toxic? That could totally work as well. Optimize. Damage. Fine. That's it. That's. Put him in Toxic. It would make it more consistent. I don't think I've got it. No. Good artifacts unlock champion. Oh, we could do it if we steal stuff. I'd have to steal off Yumiko. We'd have to steal a lot of good stuff. I don't think that's worth it could do it. What's the chance for Toxic? Don't think the chance is even high enough. Mm. 75% chance? Oh, it's actually pretty good. Hmm.
Got accuracy roll. Okay, this could help. Crit damage. Okay. Eat. Triple crit rate. Okay. Run that again. I take off the locked artifacts. How does this help with the 3% defense or weaken? Uh, it doesn't, but the extra debuff gives you... So the boss... The boss has um, passive, right? The reason is this, the passive... The boss has 75% damage reduction. The damage reduction is reduced by 10% for every debuff. So Toxic gives you an extra debuff. Gives you an extra 10% damage, basically. So it just makes it a bit more consistent. Like, if we had Toxic... Yeah, Toxic set would eliminate the weak and missing. We'd still kill him. Because it, it reduces his damage reduction. So it would make it a chunk more consistent, actually. Well... Interesting stuff. Um, Riho is even better. So she has... The stun obviously doesn't work, but she's got decreased defense, weaken, decreased attack, decreased crit rate, HP burn. So she comes in with multiple things. And she's got a heal, which doesn't matter, but... Yeah, she basically comes in with five debuffs instead of Romantu has four. So again, it gives you just extra leeway. And she could still miss... Decrease defense or weaken, but the extra debuff that she does, extra 10% damage reduction, which makes it makes a big difference. Again, even more budget option is Ruella. She has decreased defense, weaken, decreased speed. So she's got three. Fine. She's got three hits. Each one has a 70 books to set uh, mastery up to 75%. So she should have three 75s. You see. What is the mats on that? 75. Doing that right. Oh, sorry. I'm not doing that right. She actually is more consistent. That's interesting. So Romantu has a 95, 97% chance to put decreased defense weak in. Ruella has basically a 98.5% chance. She's actually more consistent with decreased defense weaken. That's interesting. So yeah, Ruella would absolutely work. And then she'd give you turn meter fill as well. Potentially. Running with Giant Slayer, maybe. Yeah, Ruella is actually a decent option. Huh. She's actually better than I thought. Yeah, you've got like a 1.6% chance to fail to put the debuff with her because she has three attempts. It's actually slightly better because of the 90. Huh, interesting. Okay. Okay. That's something to consider. Hmm. Is the Godseeker strategy a thing? Yeah, but it's just really slow. <laughs> Yeah, you can have. I, I mean, I can run Godseeker, uh, but it's just really, really slow. Actually, I can't run Godseeker anymore. I took her gear off. <laughs> I gave her gear to Artax so he could do Ice Golem. So I can't run Godseeker anymore. I don't have the gear for it. But yeah, you can totally run Godseeker. And a Godseeker with like a ninja will do, we'll do it in about three minutes, but it's slow, right? And that's the thing. At the moment, you need so much dust, or you need so much oil. And so much chaos dust, it just takes forever to actually get stuff rolled up. But it is 100% team. Like, Godseeker will do it 100% success rate, but just very, very slowly. Um, if you've got, like, a 6-star ninja, or even 5-star. Five 5-star five becomes much more consistent. Because 5-star, you can get the uh, smite that can't be cleansed. And that will kill the boss much faster. Um, but it's still pretty slow. You can do it in 1 minute 30 to 40. That's pretty good, actually. Now, mine is not that quick. Like, I ran it before, and it was, like... I think it was two and a half minutes. Why do you need more points in Ice Golem than me? 
Do you? How many points do you need an ice golem? Run it overnight? I don't think it's worth the electricity bill. <laughs> I don't like to leave my phone running overnight. So I could do it on my PC, but running my PC overnight, it's probably more worthwhile just to buy energy packs than to buy real life energy. Worth <laughs> the small loss. Unlimited frames is about 30 seconds quicker with an Eerie Ninja. Oh, there we go. You need 1,650? 1, really? Wait, so I for real need less? Yo, can you share me a screenshot of your event in my Discord channel? Now I'm curious. Yeah, mine is 1,400. But um, yeah, no, I, I think for me, if we get that Sand Devil team up to 96% success, I'm, I'm totally good to go. With that. <laughs> I'm totally fine. Over here. Oh yeah, dude. Look at that. 1650. Whoa, your event's totally different. What the heck? Account level. Okay, so for you, okay, I've got more points needed total. But yeah, you're, that's so bizarre. Look at that. So I don't know, these low ones are the same, but then you've got like way cheaper prism shards, prism crystal. Prism crystals have flipped. They're way lower for you. That's so strange. So it's like, yeah, you've got lower point requirements, but they flip the place of the rewards. That's so bizarre. That's really weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. For stage, so for stage 25, Sand Devil. Yeah, yeah, you need Ninja. Ninja can run either Toxic, which is pretty quick, or Affinity Breaker. Affinity Breaker is obviously faster. It's uh, Force Affinity, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's do some... Oh, I think we can get to the next stage of um, Dark Fae. You're level 96. Aha. Yeah, it must be based on level. That's interesting. Yeah, so yeah, we need to tweak that ice, the Sand Devil team a little bit. Let's take, let's just have a quick look at that. Could we get Newt? Just pull a Riho. That would be the easiest thing. Could we get Newt into... A 251, 220. Oh, need resist. I think he only needs probably like 325 accuracy. Yeah, it's probably fine. Figure him. That's, let's say he has to wear a leap. Let's actually optimize him for Sand Devil. Sand Devil 25. Prioritize defensive. Base got increased defense. Will it work? Oh, yeah. Okay. We could potentially do this. Okay. Looking for. It's actually going to gain damage. Well, a lot. Yeah, like that, that shows you a pretty big difference. He's going to gain 20% damage, basically. I'm going into this instead. Wait, he wants to... That gear that's on him? 
I think he wants to steal gear off the other newt. Now I'm confused. It's not going to work if he's stealing gear off the other newt. Maybe that's the gear that's on... It's probably the gear that's on him already. But we could steal gear off these other guys. That doesn't matter. This could totally work. So he's going to actually gain speed. Fine. This looks... Yeah, this could work. Switch him over into lethal. Goffred's not important. These None of these guys are that important. I think he's I think he's stealing gear off of himself, which is so it's okay. Yeah, this looks good. Okay. Final results. Yeah, he'll basically do 20% more damage. That's super worth. He's even gonna do more damage on his other moves as well. Fan signal. I wonder if this works properly. Um I don't know. Anyway, that's cool. Okay, so we can totally switch. I probably will do that. I still have enough accuracy for Fire Knight. Hard. Yeah, this should work just fine. All right, great. That's something to look at. Might do that. Oh, he, he might be stealing from the other one? Maybe. That would be unfortunate. Your wife says hi. Hello to your wife. Give Lopsy a big kiss from me. Ah, there we go. Ah, romance. Romantic. <laughs> and upgrades, you think a MC monster, oh, miscreated monster and a buff extender would be good for damage mitigation for Ultra Nightmare. Uh, yeah, I think it'd be fairly solid. I think a lot of the, a lot of the free to play guys like YST, I think, took Miscreated Monster on his free-to-play account. So he's probably running like a Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss team with Miscreated Monster. Take a look at that and get a good idea. Hmm. Can I see my Trenda build for... Yeah, okay, hang on, hang on. Let me actually end current battle just for you. Okay, here's my Trenda build for Hydra. All right. Now, this is almost as good as my Raglan build. So the Raglan build is pretty good. I think you guys were pretty impressed. Again, we'll look at that again. My Raglan build. The Raglan build is pretty solid. It's a good start. My Trunda build is even better, though. Okay, here we go. So my Trunda build for Hydra is like this. All right, that's my Trunda build for Hydra. Pretty solid. Again, you might struggle to, to come up with a similar build. But uh, you've got... I actually think I've got a skin for her. Yeah, I've got the skin. There we go. No Trunda, but I've got the skin, boys. Got the skin. There we go. That's the Trunda. Pretty end game build. Right, right, right. That's what I'm rocking. Don't be jealous now. Ooh. Ooh, that's tempting. I only have 35 essence. So it's not that tempting. Very similar build. Yours? Nice, nice, nice. Good, yeah. You guys copying my build? My build is copyrighted. You gotta, you gotta pay me royalties if you copy my trend to build. Okay? You have the same build as an endgame player. It's badass. There you go. <laughs> the exact same build? Huh. Awesome trend to team. Thank you. Arlon the Ringer doubled your Hydra damage? Really? Arlon the Ringer. I think he could be a fun champion. Like, I, I think the Polymorph, he's, he's kind of bad against Stone Skin. But, yeah, Carillon is probably a little bit underrated. Like, it's fun. You know what? This is a great thing. If they actually nerf Polymorph properly, yeah, great. You know, a lot of champions will become more interesting without Polymorph there. Carillon could be one of them. Your build is slightly different. You don't have the skin. Oh, well, you know, having the skin is crucial, right? I don't even know how I got that skin, but I've got it. You have to have the skin, right? That is that is the ultimate flex in Raid Shadow Legends, is having a skin for a champion that you don't own. That's the ultimate flex. Ultimate, ultimate Yeah, I, 
I wouldn't, to be clear, I don't think Carol on the Ringer is good for Hydra because he's all about freeze, but he could be a pretty cool, like, he's sort of like Gergo, but better, right? He's sort of like a AoE freeze champ that can also probably do pretty decent damage. And again, I think he'd scale really well with like Rathalo set, and he would scale well with Cruelty, let's say. Carillon. I think he could be kind of fun, but like Stone Skin really ruins his whole life, doesn't it? Um, like Carillon, he's got a really good speed aura. He's got AoE freeze that can deplete turn meter and fill turn meter. Nice. And he has AoE hex weaken. And then he's got AoE uh, decrease enemy buffs, right? He's got two AoE attacks. I think he do work quite well in Rathalo set. Good speed. Solid enough base stats. Ignores defense. 20% defense. If enemy allies... Um, sorry, allies ignore 20% defense. If they're under freeze. Placed by him. So again, he'd scale well with Rathalos and up your damage. I think he's, he's actually... He's okay. Again, he gets real messed up by stone skin. By cleansers. By resistance. He gets messed up by a lot of stuff. He's not great. But he's got some fun potential got some fun potential with Rathalo set in particular I'd say but possibly with anything I don't know one I've got my eye on is on a cool champion don't have him of course wouldn't pull for him either but he'd be fun to have did my girlfriend give up on raid yeah my girlfriend quit raid yeah yeah she played for a good bit she played for a couple of years but um yeah she gave up <laughs> she plays a bit of TFT bad now I think she prefers that like the problem with raid is like you have to play a lot <laughs> right to succeed in raid like with fusions especially like you just have to play the game a lot like raid is not very nice to casual play unfortunately so yeah Actually, that's a good point. Carol on the Ringer. Yeah, and Hydra. If they all resist, or obviously none of them can be frozen. I mean, yeah, you're right. It is a 40% turn meter boost for your team on a three-turn cooldown. That's kind of cool. And he does have AoE Hex Weaken. Yeah, you know what? You're right. He probably is all right. Hang on. Let me think about it. Hang on. Let me think about that. Carol on the Ringer. Big turn meter boost. AoE Hex Weaken. Decreases their buffs. AoE attacks. Like, you get him in a high cruelty blessing. Get him in Rathalo set, so he's pumping turn meter. You know what? You might be right, actually. He might be a really good Hydra champion. I take it back. He actually has a lot of potential. Yeah. Yeah, he does have potential. I kind of dismissed him because you think he's more about the freeze. So I'd say he's not top tier for Hydra, but like, yeah, you could absolutely throw him in good gear. And like, yeah, it is a 40% turn meter boost. Quite nice. The 40% turn meter. AoE Hex Weaken. AoE Attack. He's not crazy good, right? Like, he's more for Arena, but like, you throw him in a Rathalo set with good speed. And yeah, like, he'll be all right be a fun arena champion and he'd, he'd fill in pretty well in the hydra team and he's not the best of the best but uh most people he's probably actually quite good yeah that's a good call i might try get a video of him done uh, at some point find somebody that has uh, the champion Taunt set? Uh, yeah. Actually, that's a... You could. You could run him in Taunt. I mean, you could run him... You could run him in Taunt and four-piece Rathalos. Right? You could use Rathalos accessories, if you have them. Rathalos accessories, four-piece to get him the turn meter, and then run him in a Provoke set, and he'd be, like, provoking and freezing, and... Yeah. Again, if Polymorph gets nerfed again in Arena, he's actually be quite decent oh you started playing the, the game after Artak you missed Artak 
that does kind of suck. I mean, the nice thing is, like, <laughs> every one of these free login champions is kind of insane. Like, Rathalos, Blademaster, he's great for free login. I think Wukong is insanely good. W Wukong would be the one I'd be upset about missing. I, I do expect Wukong to probably honestly fall off in power in, like, the next year or so. Like, they're, they're more likely to bring in maybe a polymorph nerf, which hurts Wukong more probably block passive skill champions you know we'll see but yeah like it's the same thing with everything in this game like i don't know like i you'd be really upset if you miss newt but it'll probably be something better than newt in a couple of years like we'll be okay eventually it's just gonna hurt in the short term but there's always power creep <laughs> Oh no, you, you missed Wukong by 27 hours, and then because your account was too old, you couldn't use the promo code for him either. That's miserable. Okay, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Okay, I feel real bad for you. Oh, yikes. Hmm. Ah, just got Archer from a YOLO Sacred Shard. Feels good. Great. Congratulations. Best Ultimate Death Knight, yeah. I actually... I, I think there really needs to be... Again, I don't know if they'll do it, right? We talked about this earlier. Raid do not like to balance the game, ever. But Ultimate Death Knight probably should get a nerf. Or Stone Skin should get a nerf. Like, I use Stone Skin Ultimate Death Knight, but it's it's I use them all the time. Classic Arena sometimes, Live Arena all the time, Tag Arena every time. Like, Ultimate Death Knight, he's so good. But, like, it is kind of obnoxious, right? They could nerf both, they could. But, again, unfortunately, Ray doesn't like to nerf stuff. But I think that would be probably positive for the game as well. So, like, what do you do? What do you, what do, you do against a Stone Skin Ultimate Death Knight and Triple Reaction? What do you do? There's just nothing you can do. You can't kill him. He's got triple reaction. Like, even a Jorkid can't kill him. He's got triple reaction. Can't kill him. And then he's just sat there in stone skin. It's a strong monkey. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's in uh <laughs> he's in Merciless set. He's kind of he's kind of a monster. Yeah. <laughs> he's a little bit gross. Stone skin and polymorph needs a nerf. Yeah, I think Harima needs a nerf. I think Tyrus needs a nerf. Like, I get White King Narcis is, like, supposed to counter Tyrus Marishka. Tyrus and Marishka should also be nerfed. Like, dear lord, they're so broken. Anyway, but they're not gonna. They're not gonna nerf them. It's not gonna happen. They're just gonna make new champions, like Narcis and Ancora, and that's gonna be what they do instead. They will never, it seems like they will never nerf stuff that is obviously broken. They'll just sell you new overpowered champions. Marima is fine. Her passive is too strong. Passive is too strong. Like, it's too good. Again, it's not as bad if they nerf Polymorph. And there's not even that many. It's like, you know, here's the thing, right? People say, oh, right, they nerf Polymorph. You can just bring a Romantu, but, like, not even that good of an option. <laughs> like, there's only so many. Like, Har Harima's passive, it reduces your damage by about a third. Like, it's insane. Harima, pa yeah, it, I think her passive is too strong. Like, no, it doesn't reduce it by a third. Sorry, it reduces your damage by over half, right? It's so strong. Right? It's so strong. I think Harima passive makes Rotus A3 not worth using at all, which is funny. I don't have a huge problem with that. Rotus is ridiculously strong, but I just think it's funny. It's that powerful. Like his A1 does more damage than his A3 on Harima's there. Polymorph was buffed, not nerfed. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it was kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd say it was probably buffed overall. Yeah, it's quite quite silly.
Sounds like someone who doesn't have Harima. Well, I mean, I think it's true. Now, here's the thing. Again, we've got power creep in the game. Like, the mythicals are kind of insane. So, yeah, like, maybe in a while it's not going to matter. But, yeah, I, I still think her passive is too. I I'd be toning down her passive. I'd definitely be toning down Taris and Mariska passive. Uh, Drock's suggestion to fix Polymorph? I haven't seen what his suggestion is. I'm curious. Again, my suggestion for fixing Polymorph is, one, make it only one turn. Two, have it not change the speed of your champion. That's already way better. Like, that's already a huge improvement. The problem is, you get Polymorph, and, like, you're gone. You're done. Like, you're a sheep for two turns, and they last forever. Power Surge? Yeah, right. Do I think they'll do a fusion for a mythical? Yeah. I think eventually. I don't think soon. But I think eventually, yeah. They will have a fusion for a mythical. I think it'll be really hard. But yeah. I think Harima's passive needs a buff because I have her. <laughs> yep. Look at this Duchess resisting everything. That Duchess is like 800 resistance. Insane. But yeah, I, I expect they'll give us a fusion mythical at some point. I would, my guess would be they might do it after like, I think mythicals have been out for about five months. They might do it like a year in. I can see that. So I don't think it'll be soon, but I think it will be eventually. Supreme Kale is not very good against Duchess. Oh, she's got emergency heal. There we go. We blocked her passive this time. Resist, resist. Emergency heal for 20k. That's just taking us like a minute to kill her. But yeah, like, the, if they do a mythical fusion, it's going to be so tough to complete, guys. Like, it's going to be absolute bloody... It's going to be bloodbath. This guy's got three duchess. What? Look at this. He's got three of them. Son of a gun. 277k. Wukong took that one down fast. Oh, that was a plus four. Six star duchess. Okay. No wonder she was resisting everything. That duchess is... This guy... Look at this. I don't have a single duchess. This guy has... He's got five, six, seven duchess. Seven du duchai. I've never seen so many duchess in my life. I don't even have one. Give me give me one of your duchess. You don't need that many. Out of here. Timmit and Kasha. Yeah, I think Timmit and Kasha is a good option, actually. Timmit and Kasha are quite good with Ankora and Arceus. Yeah, that's actually quite strong. I think Sifi and Rotus is stronger overall. Well, they're kind of different, but yeah, it's they're both good options. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't do it, Rotus. Don't do it. Uh oh. If he did his A2, we would have been fine. If if he did his A2, we would have been fine. Oh, he didn't kill him. He didn't kill him. Oh, he killed him. Why even attack this team? I didn't even look. <laughs> I didn't even look, dude. Oh, we'll take Supreme Kale. We'll put in a normal team. Narcis can one shot Rotus. Ok, 
Prepare for the third fight. Oh, it's a Taris? This one will be a little bit slow. He's going to be a lot a bit slow. But this will be fine. It's a Taris without any buffs. It's... Oh, well, now he's got buffs. We'll get him in the next day, too. Oh, never mind. One more. Power damage reduction. Too drunk. Didn't have increased attack. That wasn't so bad. First fight, though. Oh, the plus four. Oh. oh, yeah. I see what you mean, guys. Yeah, yeah. This was, this was kind of nasty. It was a, that was a plus four six-star Rotus. Yeah, okay. Right, 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 right. Yeah, okay. That's, that is nasty. Right, we're in goal four now in tag. Right. Uh, let's take... Supreme Kale. I mean, he's not bad, though. Put in Rhonda again. Yeah, I got back up. I got him to go four in Tag Arena, which is cool. My defenses struggle. I'll say that. Getting up from goal three to goal four, like, the defenses were struggling a bit. It was very interesting. Like, goal two to goal three, zero problem. We were kind of wrecking people. Get into goal, goal three to goal four. I did put, actually, I put in Ancora and Narcis in my defenses. They were unbooked. I think they will do better now they're booked, but they they were losing some. Actually, they were unbooked. Um, now they've got books on them, though. Gonna be stronger. My opinion, what's the most needed buff to a single legendary champion? Well, we did a video on the Voids yesterday, and my number one pick was Blind Seer. He's pretty high up there. Like, Blind Seer is pretty shit. Um... I don't know. Who's, who do you guys think? Who is the worst legendary champion in the game? Who's the worst one? Grohack. I don't... Interesting. I think Grohack the Bloodied is okay, but... I'm curious what else people think. Like, he could obviously do with it. Not used to it. Ixneal, Ultan of the Shell. Again, they're not terrible. Ulton, another vote for Ulton, literally useless. Ulton, Noble, Gamoran, Raglan. Raglan's definitely not the worst. Like her her revive is actually really good. Altan. Ulton and Altan. Again, Altan is not useless, but I'd love to get Altan a buff. He's sort of like a... Altan is kind of... He's okay for some Doom Tower stuff. Like he's okay for Eternal Dragon. Um... Mishka, put on a shield. I dare you. Rafmatav. Warmother. Whirlim. Jingwan. Just pulled my fifth Taurus totally free to play. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. It's like uh, you you must you must uh, you must uh, fight you must have the free to play flat clan boss that Mac Chan had. You guys ever watch Mac Chan and be like, guys, I'm free to play now. I'm free to play. And it was just like magically, fifty void shards would appear on his account. You're like, dude, you've got you must have the nicest clan boss. You got an extra special clan boss there that's giving you all these free to play shards. <laughs> the, the old Mac Chan clan boss. That was a that was a classic. Classic. I miss that guy. I think he plays Dragonair now. He was a fun content creator, though. You miss Mac. He was a low low spender, right? Yeah, yeah. Narma the Return. Yeah, Roxam, Norog, voices, Akorn. Yeah, Elagius, Roxam, Rishtoff. Oh, yes. Lots of good picks there. Man, that's tough. I. You're making it hard for me to, to pick one. <laughs> you guys have picked lots of good options. Very hard to pick just one. Maragain? Yo, Maragain is underrated. Maragain is fine. 
Our game's fine. She's not the best, but she's solid. Like, the only thing I'd change with Mara gain is maybe make her speed aura stronger. But, like, I, I think she's actually really good. Queen Eva? Yeah, Queen Eva's bad. What does Ultan of the Shell do? I don't even remember. He's got, like, a sleep, right? Do you have a sleep? Dark Elf. Ultan. Double hit. And decrease defense. The target's under increased defense. He removes it. Right? Removes debuffs and heals him. Puts a shield on him. Packs one enemy. Okay. Yeah, it's not, not great. I mean, at least it's interesting. It's kind of unique. It's not useful, but it's unique. Dominant sports. Attacks all enemies. Can sleep them. Ignores 50% resist if she's on Oella's there. Fills his turn meter when the sleep expires. Four turn cooldown AoE. Decrease skill cooldown. <laughs> Wow, whatever he's healed by continuous heal. Jeez. Yeah, he's not he's not very good. He's not great. <laughs> What's he got? He's got a good aura. His aura is good. Yeah, he, he's not great. He's got a whole lot of very niche utility. It's like, okay, you've got a low chance to reduce skill cooldowns with continuous heals. Then you've got a sleep. AoE sleep, that's niche. You've got cleanse yourself. And then do more damage. Again, niche. Got strip off de increased defense. Niche. It's, it's just niche. Everything is niche. Like, the likelihood that you've got a single fight where every single one of those things works is rather <laughs> rather low. Be blunt. Rather low. Oh, the Plarium play legendary is pretty bad. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm I'm slightly over halfway towards her now. Like we've been going, uh, we wailed out a little bit. Uh, we're I think I'm fifteen thousand out of twenty five thousand towards uh whatever she's called. So I'm kind of there. How far are you guys? How far are you guys towards getting? I don't even remember her name. The Burning Tree Lady. Oh yeah, Searsha. That's it. Searsha. Where am I from? Uh, I'm from Ireland. Staff got her the other day. Yeah. Bertie 10k. Yeah, if someone... Does anyone... I don't know how much you guys spend. Anyone who's like playing as long as me that's free to play, how far are you? I'm curious. Like, I buy the Forge Pass, and the Forge Pass gives you a lot of points towards Searsha. Like, it, it has a lot of Plarian play points. So I'm curious how much that's done for me. Free to play, you've got 10k. Seems about, yeah, a few people in 9k. Uh, blue Guapes, 8,000 in. Playing for a year? Oh, you're only playing for one year and only the gem pack. You've got almost 9,000. Okay. 10,000 points for you to play. Huh. How much potential does Jinro not have? I mean, Jinro is kind of fun. I, I think he's he's okay to have. For, he's, he's I, I tell you, Jinro is probably going to be great for Cursed City, right? The fact that you can do a two-turn stun on anyone is actually really good. For Cursed City, yeah. But... He should be way better than he is. He definitely needs a buff. <laughs> but, I mean, at least he's interesting. Do I drink any Irish stout? I actually don't drink alcohol very much at all. Um, stouts are okay. I don't mind a stout. It's okay. Uh, when I do drink... You know, I, I like a Bailey's Irish cream liqueur. That's quite nice. Uh, I like whiskey. Uh, Irish whiskey. Nice. Um, but I don't drink very much. I right the most often thing I might drink would be a glass of wine occasionally and a meal out. That, like but I, I really don't drink much. Or fortunately, depends on how you look at it. 
Oh, Captain Hindsight, you don't play on PC. Yeah, you do. You get a few points on PC every single day. I get them all every day, obviously. Pretty much it. Yeah, let's uh, end multi battle. Let me see where I am. I think I'm at 15k, so that's kind of cool. So by buying the Forge Pass, I've got like basically 50% more points. Hmm. Nubs is fancy. Yeah. Bailey's is great. Bailey's is real nice. Yeah. Power, yeah, Powers. Powers is quite a nice whiskey, actually. The Irish whiskey is cheap as well. They revoke your Irish citizenship for not drinking? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So, Darren, you've got 20k points. You get the monthly gem pack. I do that as well. You get mini mix on sale. Okay, I don't buy that. You get the forge pass. Wow, I don't know how you're 5k ahead of me then. I feel like I do the same stuff as you. Maybe the mini mix pack adds up to that much. I don't know. That's crazy. But yeah, I am... Uh, I'm, I'm actually 16,000. I'm at 16,000 now. There you go. 16k. So yeah. I've, I've, I've bought 6,000 points more than I would have got for free. Hmm. So I'm over halfway there. Do uh, Searsha. Okay, stuff, but... Oh, it keeps going. Oh, I forgot. You get her soul and everything. Oh my god, you've got so much for this. The 22,000 after this for, like... Basically a load of junk. Oh! I mean, the speed glyphs are not... And then another 25,000. Oh. Bloody hell. Uh, in gold four, is it true? If I stay above 1,000 points, do I stay in gold four tag arena? Is that true? I've heard that. Even if you're in the red, if you got 1,000 points, you're good. I don't know if that's true. Wait, after the souls, there's more? There's another page? Really? What's in the... Like... <laughs> does, it, does it just keep going? It probably just keeps going, right? It just refreshes. More pages. Yeah, I'd imagine it's unlimited. That's kind of that's kind of nuts, isn't it? Oh my god! Look at this nonsense. I don't know. We might lose this. I'm just curious to fight Taras Marishka. If you're in the red, you do drop. Okay. You need 1,200 points? Stop messing with my speed. You can script the Duchess. Right, Jerry says, if you have a thousand points, you do not drop even in the red. And Boho says, not true. You don't drop in G4 if you are in the red. You're in the red up to like 1,300. Huh. I'm interested. How many tag battles do I do in a day? Um, I usually try to like put in a one-man defense and do all the battles on it. Ah, polymorphed. Get out of here. Get out of here with your polymorph. How does Garol have a three turn unkillable buff? Does she do that? I don't even know what this champion does, man. I just know in form two, she smacks you like nonstop with AoEs. Wait, why would you not do your A3? Oh my god. Monkey trolling me. Hang on, take it off auto. Monkey's trolling. Take it off auto. Do this. 
Wait, we didn't steal his unkillable? Well, he's dead anyway. Eventually. He died from the hex. That's funny. What have my blessings for Ankora? Uh, I gave her Polymorph because she has like 300 accuracy. So I figure Polymorph is worth it on her. Okay, this is the one I'm interested to see. So he buffed up first. Oh, boo. We missed. We got feared and missed our thing. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's not good. <laughs> got block damage. Did he ignore block damage? No. Let's ignore block damage. Now we're just dead. That's unfortunate. Zero damage. Definitely need stone skin on Ankora. Right. And we just got outsped. Bummer. It was a six star. Whatever that's called. Blessing. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I think you definitely need stone skin on Ankora for that. <laughs> Boy, she's just gonna... She's gonna die. We got a little unlucky as well. But anyway. Five star, five star Wukong is very, yeah, five star Wukong is very tempting. That extra accuracy, feel good. Can I show you my Hegemon build? Rat, just for you, I will, because you are a channel member. Shout out to everyone who's a channel member, by the way. Thank you for that support. I never, I, I don't shout out the channel members half enough. I'm, I'm terrible. I'm a terrible channel person. Host manager person? I don't know. I'm not I'm not good enough to my members, but I appreciate you. This is my hegemon build. He's got stun set on perception. He has 486 accuracy. <laughs> he uh he's got fearsome presence. That's nice, right? He's got polymorph. Polymorph, stun set, fearsome presence. Like 500 accuracy. Use him all the time. Use them constantly. Every fight. Hegemon's in there. Are there extra member vids being put out still? No, not at the moment. I'll have to think of stuff to do. It's quite hard to think of extra videos to do. What's the best blessing and gear set for a Hydra Ugo? Uh, Relentless gear? Or maybe Affinity Breaker? And then for blessing... Maybe Miracle Heal. I also kind of like the one that gives you turn meter. It's pretty decent. Beat picks for members. My. Oh my. Well, I'll, have to, well I'll, I'll think about that one. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to make too much money. I don't want all of you to be forced to become members, right? That seems excessive. No. I want to have some mercy. Best blessing for the archer? Um, not sure. Oh, we got a new member. <laughs> Aslan just became a member. Uh-oh. <laughs> the, the foot picks is only a joke, Aslan. You're not getting those. Just in case. <laughs> puppy picks. Oh, we could do puppy picks for members. Yeah, we'll, we'll get her up for the end of the stream. Um, Best blessing for the archer. Cruelty would be okay. Uh, maybe Brimstone. Depends how. Depends what you've got in your team and the team you're running around. You could be a really good Cruelty champion, though, because she's pumping out the AoEs. I think the best set for the Archer is probably Affinity Breaker as well. If she's six... Yeah, okay, six star, yeah. If she's six star, Crushing Rend is a good option, yeah. Puppy feet pics. I, I could, yeah, I could send you pictures of the puppy feet. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But pics are for OnlyFans only? Yeah. This, by the way, this is like my favorite Doom Tower hard team. It's pretty quick. It's not as fast as this year team. But this team beats every stage. 
100% success. Nothing can go wrong. It just smashes through. I don't know how that guy didn't get his stuff stripped by Romantu. That's a bit unlucky. 3%. 3%'s our best friend at Romantu today. He's always getting 3%ed. Pretty tragic. I could do a video recommending blessings for different types of champions. Kind of hard to do. They rebalance blessings as well. I don't know. It's tough to do. Let's get the puppy. Let's get the puppy. We are coming near the end of this. Don't that's your favorite. Neck rubs. Uh watched up. Huh? Oh. Oh, you like this song? <laughs> I'm got yours. Up there. There. Not intro. I did. Big puppy. He's a big puppy. A big fur baby. Oh. 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 Oh, not you. Puppy foot. guys i think that will bring us though to the end of the stream the puppy has arrived how old is she she's a year old one year old golden retrievers are like puppies until they're three years old big baby oh yeah guys thank you for watching hey grat thank you 22 months of a member insane thank you for that support it's kind of crazy to think i've been doing this channel for 22 months thank you dog is off on a destructive rampage no doubt i need to make sure she doesn't wreck anything uh, i will catch you guys later thanks for tuning in hope you had a good one y'all soon bye